Hello, and welcome to another episode of High Rollers Dungeons and Dragons. With me, your dungeon master, Mark Sherlock Humes. You may hear some sniggering in the background. It's because I got my revenge this week and said something before we went live. You literally <laughs> said piss. You just said piss, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, welcome to my wonderful friends uh, joining us this week. We have Rhiannon Gower on the other uh, that Hello. side. Rhiannon Gower, that Tom way. Hazel, <laughs> Katie Morrison, who joins us once Hello. again. Uh, Chris Trott, Kim Richards. Uh, welcome, friends. Hello. It's, uh, it's been a few days, but we're back. We're back playing some more Dungeons & Dragons. We're still not in our studio because lockdown is still a thing, so we're still playing online. One day we're going to get back to our glorious table and we'll all be round, sat around, Having drinks, having good times, rolling real dice. I won't get natural Japes. 20s all the time. It'll be fun. It'll be a good time. But for now, be we're online. We'll be great. We'll be great. Um, welcome, everybody. We hope you are well. We hope you've been having a good week. A uh, couple of things just to go over before we start. The first of which is a big thank you to our regular sponsor, D&D Beyond. Chris Trot, take Woo! it away. Thanks, Mark. Thought I'd take center You're stage welcome. today. Oh. There he is down there behind the logo. Oh, Every so... time. Every time. No. <laughs> I just block him off. So, no. you may not have known. Well, you probably did if you're in the D&D circuit. But D&D Live ended yesterday and had quite the romp of famous mm. people playing a variety of sessions. So, mm. take this one, for example. I can't believe Mark made it. It's amazing. <laughs> Congratulations. I saw this, yes. Wow. Yeah. Amongst yeah. such people, under my, Watts and Thomas under my under my pseudonym of uh, <laughs> Melissa Villains and all. Uh, well yes, done, I Mark. did. Yeah, I did. Yes, thank you. Um, all but I'm I'd saying say, is that production people change your vmix links and let people <laughs> know if they shouldn't use the same one. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I, I'm out. used to using the same link. Whenever we do a vmix call, and mm. I just assumed it would be the same one. <laughs> oh, you all know uh -oh. what assumption makes. But anyway, yeah, uh, <laughs> the biggest announcement at D and D Live is, of course, oh. this year's major new campaign and storyline. Oh, is anyone else oh. feeling a little chilly, frosty? Oh, oh, very oh, 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 good. No. Oh no! It's the climate it's changes. Chilly. I think it might be. Oh, no. uh, oh, oh, here's the go. Here's the ice and the snow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ice swing <laughs> tail. Rhyme of the Frost Maiden is the new storyline. Clocking in at Ooh. 320 pages of content. 320. Uh, the horror fantasy adventure <laughs> takes heroes to the frigid wastes of Icewind Dale as a divine <laughs> evil de descends upon the land, threatening the forgotten realms with eternal night. The story features no. icy environmental dangers, modular adventures that can be played separately or together as an overarching story, 50 new creature stat blocks, multiple for Oriol the Forest Maiden, a lesser god whose schemes will be placing the characters and all of Icewind Dale into mortal peril! No! 320, just freeze there! Just freeze! Mortal peril! Just freeze! <laughs> <laughs> freeze it! <sighs> Oh, Funny. very good, Chris Trot. Very good. Pre-ordering the, the digital version. Pre-ordering the digital version of D and D Beyond on D and D Beyond will, of course, grant you extra special features only available mm. on their website, such as the ice cold glacial dice set. Do you want to see it? Yeah, you do. Oh. There it is. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh, actually, pretty cool. Oh, oh. yeah. Okay, go. So you can get that if you pre-order Icewind Dale. Also. You get six custom character backdrops for use with your characters when you make them. And uh, I think there's even more stuff that's going to be released as well. So, Icewind Dale, yeah, Ding is. Dong. Get it on D&D &D Beyond. D&D Beyond always do lots of like preview things. They build like extra encounters that you can check out as well based on the new modules, um, which will all be coming out up until the release, which I believe is in September. Um, Correct. For Rhyme of the Frostmane. Yeah. Um, really, really cool. It right was now. really... Uh, listening to like you know the D and D live stuff, Jeremy and Chris uh, and and Kate Welch all run a bunch of cool modules and adventures um, set in the new module. It looks really creepy if you're into stuff like it's kind of got like a horror vibe to it. Uh, this module, uh, not in the same way that Strahd does. This is more John Carpenter's The Thing. Who can you trust? Yeah. Is somebody Very secretly cool. being taken over by Oral the Frost Maiden? All of this kind of cool stuff. Um, it looks really good. I'm actually really excited. It's one of the few modules that for a long time I didn't know anything about. So this it was super fresh for me. 
um, I'm really excited to check it out and, and play it for the first time. So maybe once uh, our, our mini series of Curse of Strahd is over, oh, yeah. it may be mm. that we move on to mm-hmm, playing through mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Rhyme of the Frostmaid. So, awesome. yeah, very, very, very cool. And also, there was a lot of other announcements, um, more just DD Live stuff. There's new models, uh, miniatures from WizKids. There's a bunch of new like accessories coming from loads of other different companies. There's a gelatinous cube dice bag, which is really cute and I, I want to get a hold of. Um, loads of fun stuff. Uh, the Heroes Feast cookbook. So if you've ever wanted to make D and D themed meals, um, you can get that. Uh, loads of fun stuff, basically. Um, and it's AJ, all available. AJ Lee's done the comic book as well. AJ Lee. AJ and Lee's Andy done Garcia. Spine of the World. Woo! Which I gotta say, I love the look of that comic. Like it looks really cool. Um, so yeah, fun. go and check that out. All the announcements on the D and D page, and keep an eye on D and D Beyond, our wonderful sponsors for upcoming like you know previews and, and additional content for the new module in Iceman Day. I just can't believe uh, you managed to get amongst these guys, you know? It's incredible. Yeah, I know. <laughs> me, and Sue Perkins, me, and, me and Sue Perkins are like this. We're super tight. She was just like, come <laughs> nice. on, use your, use your stage name, just come on in. You know, uh, yeah, really, really tight. I, I watched it back and just that momentary fear in your eyes and then trying to remain <laughs> composed as you try and close it. Close the tab. Yeah, literally, I kind of loaded in and I'm like, oh, this looks like the... <laughs> Fuck, 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 close the tab, close the tab. Um, I've never it's gotten... Like I, I, well, I emailed the production team and I was like, hey guys, is I'm guessing that I shouldn't be using this link because I think I just joined the live game. I've never had an email reply so quickly in my life with just, no, in all, like, loads of exclamation <laughs> marks. Wow. It was just like, no! I was just like... Jeez. It was funny. Oh, Luckily, in hindsight, everybody had a good laugh about it. Kate Welch, the, oh. the comedians, and I feel the production team. Yeah. It was a funny meme. Oh, it must have been like like bait for them, like a group of comedians just like, let's jump on it. Ah, that was yeah. a mistake. <laughs> Who is well, this outsider? It, it was happening because she was playing a druid. It happened at just the right moment that they were all making jokes that she wild shaped into, a, a, <laughs> into me, basically. Nice. Um, it was funny. Nice. It was funny. Um, nice. I think... I didn't have anything else on my list of stuff to talk about. I want to jump into the recap. Is there anything I've forgotten? Anything I should mention? Team. Buy t-shirts! Mm. Yeah. Sure. Tell us Buy about the t-shirts, Kim. This one's blue and yellow. Oh, Kim, and it's do got it. some writing on it. <laughs> and... Don't waste time, Kimberly. We have a game to run. Um, so as ever, we've got some new stuff on the merch store, on the Fresh Merch store. Links are in chat now, probably Nightjar. Thank you. Um, you've got the Nova t-shirt. Um, which is Atlas Academy. It's got some stars on the back as well. We've got the long sleeve t-shirt uh, with the kind of um, airship woodcut and the mug, and they're all limited edition. So once they're gone, they're gone. And I don't want to hear it. If you're like, I didn't buy it in time. Should have bought it. And is there a way yeah. to get money off, Kim? Use the code Kim. I mean, use the code High Rollers for 10% off. <laughs> <laughs> use the code at films. Perfect. I mean, High Rollers. Why am I Just saying? for clarification, <laughs> the code Kim will not work. On that site. No, no, it doesn't work on Fresh Merch. They banned me. They banned me from the Fresh Merch site, y'all. Good, good. Use code High Rollers. High Rollers. High Rollers. And with that, if if there is nothing else, let's jump into a recap after the intro. Oh boy! Sorry. <laughs> he wanted to. He's do the that. one you who has tell. to edit it out. He, 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 this is this is on Tommy. So my bad. Sorry. Welcome back to Eros and High Rollers. Last time, the party have travelled to the astral plane to an abandoned facility in a large debris field and met with an ultraloth 
named Zax Ravis, hoping to barter for plans of one of Callus Valkyrian's battleship schematics. With the schematics, they will be able to strike a blow to the enemy of Erois and rescue their young friend, Bala. Nova Vija also discovers that the Fiend has a piece of the legendary Eterna, Tiang Gong, whom she has forged a pact with. Sadly, the Ultraloth proves to be untrustworthy and attempts to ambush the party, hoping to hand them over to Callus. The party fight off a pair of Mesoloth goons and strange planar creatures in a cave system before storming Zax Ravis's ship to recover the schematics and the Shard of Tiang Gong. A fight ensues, and thanks to channeling some temporary temporal magic, Nova manages to turn the tide dramatically in the party's favor. And we begin in the action as the battle continues. Um, to give the mm. podcast listeners a narrative setup, you are all inside the main hold of a silvery <laughs> metallic astral ship. The surfaces are not polished like a mirror, but reflective, lights bouncing off it in strange means. Um, and it is elaborately decorated with silk, rich silk fabrics, uh, strange metal furniture, uh, and doorways leading into various corridors and rooms. A large wall of fire has been conjured, splitting the room partially down the middle and to one side, separating Ayla, Nova, and a suit of animated armor from the rest of the party who chase down the Ultraloth Zax Ravens. Uh, and that is pretty much where we begin at the top of a brand new round. Um, before Ayla takes a turn, a lair action will take place. Uh, no. Ayla and Nova, you see Ew. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60. <laughs> you see a flicker as a flash of magic. Um, seems to come into existence. Quill, Lucius, and Sentry. Sentry, you only see partial of this. Uh, Zax Ravis flickers and flashes for a moment and then seems to just return to his previous position um, as there now appear to be two Zax Ravises on either side of the Wall of Fire. Uh, the Wall of Fire cannot be seen through. It is opaque, which means that you cannot see to the other side of it. Um, the flames are currently facing out towards Ayla, Nova, and the animated armor. Uh, and yeah, that is what you see happen. Um, right. Then we begin uh, at the start of the round with Ayla, uh, who is currently restrained by a strange thin beam that has conjured sort of like heavy weights that are kind of holding you in place. Um, but you have a suit of animated armor beside you and also a roaring wall of fire that radiates painful heat over your body. Uh, okay. What would you like to do? Um, if I move Throwing here, you am I end. still in that? You are currently move... restrained. You cannot move your I can't move at all. Zero. No. The, uh, the last round, Can this beam hit you. Uh, it's at the end of your turn, it will go away. So it's like a restraining, uh, a holding yeah. beam, which is locking you I in place. Like the Incredibles. You can still attack. You are just at disadvantage. Am I already raging? I guess so. Yes, one. you you are raging. Uh, all your damage should be tracked. Everything should be in place. What the hell? Point yep. Going down there. Um, yeah, I'll just attack this way. Yeah, the uh, animated suit of armor does not look like it has much left in it, basically. Um... Uh... 23 to hit on the first one. And 23 will hit. 16 to hit on the next one. The second one does not hit. However, it might be enough. 16 points of Take damage on the hammer and... And a dex saving throw. Uh, dex save, please. Uh, that is a whopping two, which is a failure. Mm. And I, it's extra damage <laughs> now, isn't it? So, eight lightning damage. So, with one hefty swing, the hammer caves in a part of the metal chest plate of the animated suit of armor. Um, it's still standing, though it looks ready to collapse at any second. And then with just a kind of scream or primal shout, lightning bursts from your hands into its chest, and you watch as it flies across the room and collapses into a pile um, of just Ooh. pieces of metal. Uh, smashed yeah. um, pieces. What kind of a save is it to get out of this? 
It's not a save, it just automatically, at the end of your turn, it will go away. However, you are going to take some oh. damage from the Wall of Fire automatically at the end of your turn as well. Um, but next turn, you'll be able to move as normal. Uh, so, when the wall appears, each creature with a da 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 So that's where you... Each creature that ends its turn within 10 feet of that side or moves through it for the first time uh, takes the same damage. Yeah, so it's 5d8 of damage. I don't believe you get a saving throw. Fuck, you so. know. It is some nasty fire. Do I damage. get any danger sense for that? Uh, you would have when it was first. I think I rolled it. You didn't take any damage when it first activated because uh, that's a saving throw. But you just there's no save when you're close to it. It just deals the damage to anybody that's within the radius of it, I believe, or moves through it. So that's 22 fire damage um, as you are <laughs> scorched by this side of flames. Damn. But you'll that be able to move balls. next turn. It does. It does. <laughs> It's almost like he knew that <laughs> well, restraining yeah. you and conjuring this wall of fire, fire is a good combo. Uh, Nova Vija, uh, your turn. You are not restrained. Yeah. Um, so I'm just thinking about the fact that Zax has apparently appeared on the other side now. Yes, on your side, um, yes. Would, no, like since the beginning of this encounter, would Nova have that sort of connection to Tian Gong and know that this was perhaps wrong? I'm just trying to... Work I out. would say, it, in, given that this is a combat round, um, you could you would need to spend time like to focus. Like you've always, when we've done this before, you actually have to concentrate quite heavily on mm. Tian Gong and, and establishing that bond. Mm. So you could do that, but it's probably going to be you know like an mm. action to to yeah. do that, like to focus and and determine whether or not uh, that's real or not. You don't know. Okay, and this wall of fire has is completely there's nothing just looking at the map um there's no mm -hmm. like entranceway or anything that i can kind of go around or go through technically like, completely... there is there is a very narrow five feet gap at the very end yeah. of it yeah just your uh, okay. right hand side um yes but by all accounts and purposes she's just seen zach's rival appear in front of her okay. yes she has <clears throat> um and I've... the wall of fire only deals damage if you end your turn or try and move there. through it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um. In the case, in that case, in terms of not wanting to meta game it, um, I'm gonna just shout to the team. Um, we must get the sword. We need to get the sword before they go. Before they before they teleport. Um. Okay. And then can I move? I'm gonna move away from the wall. Mm -hmm. It's ten yep. foot, isn't it? Five ten. Yeah, it's, it's basically anything within 10 feet of it is going to take the damage. So I'm away from... I'm 10 foot away from it. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then I guess I'll... Eldritch Blast um, this second Zax Ravels that's appeared near us. Sure. Um, so that Go is... For it. Uh, first, uh, this is 15 to hit, and the second beam is a 17 to hit. Yep, cool. Roll damage for the first one. Uh, so that is... Uh, God, sorry, I haven't used Eldritch Blast in a while. So, one okay. d ten. Okay. Uh, one d ten. Nine points of damage. So, as the first blast connects with um, Zax Ravis, you watch as it the image of Zax Ravis collapses into just fragments of light as the illusion and the hologram is dispelled uh, as the attack hits it. So, technically, you still have a second beam, but there are no mm -hmm. targets that you can see to target yeah. with it. But yeah, you I just it blasts yeah. it apart and. Ksh, dispels the yeah. illusion that was being projected there. Um, can I just shout? No! No! Wh where are they? Where are they? Can you see them? Sure. Yep. You do so. Uh, but that will be for your friends to decide what they do. Uh, Zax Ravis, on their turn, will pull out a small vial from a belt and they will drink a potion. Um... Quaff. Mm. Could you say quaff in the future? They Thank will. You. They will mm. quaff a potion as a bonus action because we've always said <laughs> Thank you. drinking a potion yep. is a bonus action on your turn. Uh, feeding it to somebody else is an action. Uh, Twenty-nine hit points back as he consumes a superior, oh a superior healing potion is consumed. Oh, shit. It's a space potion. And then potion. it is a space astral. potion, astral potion. Astral then he potion. charges <laughs> towards Quill. You see, sorry, they charge towards Quill. They draw forth the black, crystal, blue, glowing um, rapier of the Shard of Tiangong. Um, but before they strike you, they turn to look at Lucius. And Lucius, you watch as their eyes begin to sparkle and glisten. 
caught with a myriad of colors and patterns waving motions is these huge silvery spherical eyes uh try to hypnotize you i need you to make a wisdom saving throw uh this is a charm well, effect and you, you do have advantage. advantage because you're an elf yeah that's you right get plus three too uh, oh, yeah. no because he is not with it oh he is within no? 10 feet yes you're right yeah 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 correct i thought he was a bit further away 13. Uh... 13. Even with Sentry's aura trying to instill your mind and, and giving you a strength, <laughs> you you just feel your mind turn to a clouded fog um, as you are currently charmed, and whilst you are charmed, you are stunned by this effect. That uh, means the, uh, the elemental bane uh, has dropped on him, which means he's no longer not resistant to cold. If you are incapacitated, sense. so yes, you lose concentration. Yep. So you watch as your energy, the concentration in your spell just collapses as you just feel your body go slack and limp and you just stand there for a moment. Um, and you just hear a voice kind of echoing in your mind, just be still, be calm. Zax Ravis may let you live as these thoughts begin to cloud over. And then Quill, he stabs you three times. Uh, after, <laughs> three after times? He... <laughs> yep, be calm. Oh. Yep. So elegant. Keep calm, uh, carry first on. one is a 14 to hit. No. Plus See, I rolled a 5. Uh, 14. No. 9. That would be a plus 9 there, Chris Trot. 11 would yeah. have been made it a 6. <laughs> of course it is. Uh, 21 to hit you, uh, Quillic Ad Kalar. Uh, yeah. Stinking, do I shield? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, that's I don't. Eight, points, 8 points of piercing damage as one strike you manage to deflect off your armor. The second strike pierces into your little hollow bird bones. Um, and then the next one is a 24. <laughs> ah, shit. I'll take that hit as well. That is going to be 11 points of damage. Do you have any concentration spells up? Uh, so I have Shield of Faith. Uh, Rhiannon, do you remember if that was Sentry that cast Hello. that on me? I believe it uh, was. No, that was. I think you cast it on yourself because I gave it. I cast one on Lucius earlier. Ah, I that's think. right. Yes. Okay, yeah. in that case I do. So, so get double all, concentration check. Yep, two constitution saving throws. The DC is 10. So you fail. Okay. First one fails. So okay, sure lose... sure the faith goes. Two AC. Wonderful. Um, okay. And that is everything. That's like a full full turn for Zax Ravis because that was a bonus action, a move, and an action. Uh, Lucius, you are stunned. Uh, I'm sorry to say uh, that roll you are... Uh, no, this is until the end of Zax's next turn. So you are just out for this turn okay i'm afraid um as your mind is just clouded by this beautiful swirling image that you saw in their eyes um as it comes over you quillic ad kalar um okay so i want to get away from this nerd um i don't want him to hit me anymore can i yeah I i'll uh i'll back up so i'm kind of if I'm on this side of the wall, 10 feet... Like You're fine. It doesn't right do damage. Yeah. Wall. doesn't do any damage. Uh, he will get... Or they will get an attack opportunity against you. Okay. Well, I may as well move like a little bit then. Um, 13. No, it doesn't hit me. And can <laughs> swipe I? Through the air. Uh, they swipe through the air. Uh, their attack going wide. I see you dart away. Oh, shit. Can I lightning lure the sword? It's in his hand... I'm going to have to say it would be extremely difficult to do so um, because he's holding it. Uh, it's You're not trained at using it. The spell is not as common. I'd say if you try it, is it a saving throw on Lightning Lure? It's a strength save, yeah. If he rolls a one, I will say that he loses the grip on it and you grab the sword instead of his arm. Okay, I mean, if I know it's extremely unlikely, then I'll go with, uh, instead, I yeah. want to... If, if, you know, this is why things like Battlemaster Fighters can actively disarm, because it's a trained thing to try and disarm somebody. The lightning would wrap around the blade, but he'd have a really strong grip to kind of pull it back. Um, yeah. I'd say, yeah, if you roll okay. like a one, yeah. Uh, in He's that case, I will cast uh, Entangle with my Dusk Willow Ring on okay. him. He needs to make a strength save. I know you can tell it but... What kind of area does that affect? Is that anything that might hit you guys, or...? Uh, 
Oh, it's twenty foot square. I can I can position it so it's like, you know, him. Twenty foot square. 20 yeah, feet you can. Him. Yeah, I can kind of draw something there as well. Uh, um, and I yeah, I know he can teleport like, and whatever, but like, whatever. You there you go. So you conjure it, um, and he has to make. They have to make a what save? Uh, strength saving throw. Seventeen. Save. This is a magical effect, so uh, they do get advantage with their magic resistance. Uh, so first saving throw is a oh, eye. God, okay. <laughs> and then with advantage, yeah, that's a twenty-one. They get. Oh, he's got a lot of strength, actually. His saving throw, damn! I didn't expect that. Plus three. Yeah, yeah. You can see that their their body, uh, Zach Travis's body, is quite muscular. This this green pallid flesh is quite well defined oh. like you can see quite burly muscles on their body um oh i was expecting just a weedy little nerd caster you know like me and lucius yeah no sadly uh <laughs> they are they are a buff and they nova. are a buff person yeah oh yeah nova. um no, minus anything else? strength nova <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's everything i've got a bonus action right. as well but I'm, i don't want to shillelay okay uh sentry <laughs> Um, Why do you keep mentioning that? See, it's a spell on my uh, ring. I can't get rid of it. <laughs> uh, sentry will move between Quill and Zaxravos, and then I shall okay. use my uh, Flame Lance upon him. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, just a line directly out from you. It's not going to strike anybody else. Uh, what no, do I have to do? Same throw. So that is a DC fire. dex save. DC 13. So, and this technically isn't a magic spell. Um, magical effects, though, it does. He gets, uh, they get magic resistance. It's a scientific effect. reaction. Still magic. <laughs> still <laughs> magic. Uh, so, yep, there's oh, the first one. Oh, oh there oh, he is. 20, 18, 18. 23. 23 on the saving cool, throw. So half damage. No problem. Half damage. 3d10 halved. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. And you so can like see that they... They also appear to be slightly resistant to fire, so that's even less, okay. I'm afraid, as the fire Damn, washes over their deep. fiendish body. Oh, Do they need to make a concentration one damage for save? For they the will wall? for the, the wall of fire. Yes, they absolutely will. Uh, that is going to be a 18, so they succeed on their concentration. Uh, anything else, Sentry? Ooh. So that was move... I'd like to... Hmm. And then I think I'll bonus action cast Ensnaring Strike on my sword, please. Okay, so you cast Ensnaring, ensnaring nice. Strike. Perfect. Ayla, nice. back at the top of a new round. Actually, sorry, there is a lair action before that. Uh, oh. Quill and Sentry. Uh, invisible mind. Burn. You both burn. You're dead. Uh, and technically Lucius. Uh, I need Lucius, Quill, and Sentry to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, you see Zach's points at space, um, and a tiny light in the floor begins to blink rapidly and then explodes. Uh, Lucius, you automatically fail yeah. dex saving throws. Yeah, I'm afraid so. 15. Crikey. 15, uh, Sentry. That is... Oh! Natural one! Cool. <laughs> Uh, so all three of you fail. Uh, you take five points of fire I damage. Fail as well. Not prone. You do, yeah. Um, oh God. This <sighs> thing blinks. Just you don't expect this tiny blinking light, and then suddenly it explodes in flame, um, and you are knocked prone by the force of the blow uh, as the lair action yeah. that round. Alrighty. Um, then it is right. Ayla's turn. You are fully able to move. You are no longer restrained. Okay. Oh, there is a wall of fire right in front of you, and you can hear the sounds of battle coming from the other side of it. Um, so you run along uh, and go down this tiny gap. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you guys. Um, yeah. Hmm. So you can see this <laughs> patch of wild growth bunch. that Quillic has created. Um, you can see Zax Ravis uh, threatening. Where is that ground? Uh, it's the green square. I don't know if can you guys not see that. I might have put it on the wrong layer. Are you guys having fun there? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh, so Sentry went into that thing as well. Yeah. In, in what's my... it? Is it when? I think it's just it difficult it... terrain. Yeah. Uh, uh, check. 
Yeah, I can't really do much, so I just kind of want to be away from this fiery death wall. Yeah, um, you don't want to um, dash into it? I will... I can't... Well, then I can't hit him, though. So... You can't hit him from where you are, currently. I know, but I could next turn. Yeah. Can you throw your hammer? I can't. Oh. I'd hit. I'd hit sentry. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Potentially. Oh wait, no, I wouldn't. If I hit, if I target him, yeah, I wouldn't hit Don't beyond that. Him. Nope. Yeah, sure. I'll throw it. Okay. I'll throw the hammer. Uh, so this is a yeah ranged uh, kind of throwing attack just against Zach's Ravis, and if you hit, it deals an extra forty-six lightning damage. Stop! Stop now, Quillek. Oh my fucking you. god! That's the one. <laughs> You I can't recklessly hammer. attack with that. Uh, throw? In, in theory, can you I? can. Theory, in theory, you can. It's just a, it's a, an attack. Oh, turn. <laughs> oh, <that's funny. laughs> so there you go. That's why you do it. The duality That's why you of reckless man. attack, man. That's why you reckless attack. So I know why I'm you reckless normal. attack, but I'm just saying I don't always want to do it. So no, no, anyone who nags can. me for it, it makes me want to do it less. Anyway, this is this is why it's good because when you can fish for crits like this, I'm fully aware of it. Yeah, but um, smash him! I do it when I want. Smash. Um, okay, make the smash happen. So, shh, shh. There's a lot of stuff to work out. Hang on. So it's going to be four d six maxed. Well, do do the, the lightning the damage. damage do the hammer damage first. Okay. So normal hammer damage is what d ten plus eighteen max. What's the dice damage for the hammer? But it's it's a d10 plus eight. All right, so so ten plus a so you roll another d10. So it's ten plus another d10 because you've got brutal critical as well, which is what changes it. So uh, ten plus one plus another d10 for brutal critical. So roll another d10. Oh plus my plus. god! Wow! Oh my god! <gasps> <laughs> so plus eight, so that's twenty damage just for the hammer. Now what are the, it's, odds? the max of forty six is twelve, twenty four, forty four points of total damage. Although actually, lightning damage is resistance. That's right, still this is why I've got to fucking good. work this out. So twenty base damage for the hammer, then twenty four damage for the lightning, which is half to twelve. And one. roll another 4d6 because this is the, the critical damage, or the critical damage was maxed, and then you roll it again. We have custom crit rules for anybody who's new, by the way. We do max max damage of the dice plus the dice again. Um, so another 4d6 lightning damage, KT. Uh, that would have been 20 plus 24 plus another 46. It's another 13, but that is halved to 6 um, because of the lightning resistance. So yeah, you swing the hammer, um, and one powerful blow, it rockets out of your hand. And at first, uh, Zax Ravis tries to dodge it to the side, but with a force of will, you kind of force the hammer to, to lean, curving slightly, as it just cracks them right in their elongated head, yes. um, snapping their neck to the side as lightning courses down their body, uh, causing intense scarring and deep wounds all over their body before the hammer whoosh, snaps back into your hands. Um, as it flies along its trajectory. Uh, and you see Zax Ravis like holding their head, uh, looking thoroughly, thoroughly beaten um, by this attack. Almost all of the Amazing. healing that they'd received from the potion having been... How much damage uh, was that? So that would have been in total, without the resistance, it would have been 20, 24, 44, plus another 13, 57 points of damage. But the resistance Crikey. cuts all the lightning damage in half. Oh, yeah. crap. Pretty so. good. That's, yeah, uh, that's anything else? I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, uh, that's me. Concentration Nova. check on the wall, please. That is very true. So the I total damage taken gone. there is 20, 32, 38. So the DC is half of 38. It's 15, 19. So it's uh, 19 DC concent uh, constitution saving throw, which is going to be a fail. So the wall yes! of fire disappears. Nice. Awesome. She gone. Clap. So a very good hit by Ayla. I've been deleted too. Awesome. Good. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I 
deleted me as well as Consumed the wall. Consumed by the We didn't fire. need you there, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my god, he it. spawned me into existence and the concentration deleted me. <gasps> you were his <laughs> he was my father. spell. Daddy? Oh, no. There you go, stop no. complaining. Right, over. <laughs> oh my god. Um, hmm. Hmm. Can't decide what to do, whether to blast or to stab. Blab. Well, uh, blab both. Why? Five, ten, fifteen, <laughs> twenty. Yeah, I'm gonna go in for a stab. Or am I? Cause yeah, they could teleport. They could teleport away. No, I'm gonna go in for a stab. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Look, Mark's got his thinking face on. I don't like it. Um, and I'm gonna Tiangong Green Flame Blade stuff. Um, so that is a decent. Sure. That's nine. 17 to hit with Tiangong. Uh, is not enough. Uh, Zax Ravis, they bring up their own shard of Tiangong and parry the blade as the two shards and sparks, blue magic, flashes in great sparks and arcs as these two shards of the same being clash against each other. Can I, while I'm clashing, can I just like say through gritted teeth, um, you don't deserve Tiangong! And then, Tom, what do you want to say? Is parry a reaction? Because he did use a reaction on me. No, he's not He's not, He's not. not parrying him. That's narrative. I'm narratively just... describing uh, it, not okay. in his AC. Yeah. Nice. It's, I was it's just in there, Mark. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know that some monsters do have reactions called parry, but this is just a descriptive... Right. Yeah, him bringing the weapon up, or them, them bringing up the weapon. Yeah, Nova, you say that, and in your mind, you hear their voice, uh deserve has nothing to do with it. It is all about who has the strength and guile to take. Uh, anything else? I believe that is, that's all you got? Is that all you I'm got? I'm having an emotional day. I'm having a very emotional day. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so angry. I'm so, I'm mm. so, oh, I need this! Mm. It's a bit outnumbered here. But you've still got some hit points left. It's only five to one. It's only five to one, yeah. What's he planning? What's he thinking? Put down the sword and leave. I'm thinking. He's gonna teleport. Nah. Nah, he's not. There's, there's, there's things that, yeah, like, I mean, yeah, there's reasons that he might not want to just completely vanish. Um, Render. he will. No, yeah, I'm gonna take this ship. Absolutely not. Crash into not the yet. ground. <laughs> Zax Ravis will. He doesn't really. He's not terribly afraid of Nova in combat. Sentry oh. does worry him, as does Ayla. He's smart enough to know that Sentry seems to be much more resilient than that. So I think what he will do is he will. Oh, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Eh? They will. Hey. They it's will. Gonna hurt. They, 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 they will. It's gonna they hurt. Will. They, they, Here they, it comes. They. Here comes Here the pain. Go. Pain oh. train. Oh, man, this is really tough. They will seconds, uh, turn. I know that's why I made, just. I just made my decision. <laughs> Burn. Oh, he gave up his turn. Sentry. Oh, Sentry. <laughs> Just uh, they look at you, and you see the same uh -huh. thing that Lucius did. This swirling, silvery pattern in mm -hmm. their eyes. This kind of shifting colors. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Does this break my effect? That is uh, yours goes at the end of his 19, turn, 20, basically. No matter what. 21 total. With a yeah. nine. With a nine. Uh, you got feel... got my wisdom this mystifying aura that tries to enrapture your mind, but you the light of the Matrix just dispels the fog that begins to shroud, and you see your target clear as day. Uh, you see, nice. you hear like a sort of grunt of frustration uh, as Zax will strike at Nova three times with oh, the Shard of Tiangong. Uh, the first one is a 21 to hit Nova. Yes, that will hit me, Mark. 
That is only six points of damage. Ha! The next one is a 16 to hit Nova. No. Parries, uh, you, you clash no with far. blades, and then the last one is a 24 to hit. Yes, far. That's another six points of piercing damage. Um, and then they will begin to look around, eyeing up the, the room <gasps> suspiciously. Lucius, uh, at the end of his turn, you are no longer stunned. You are broken free of the stunned condition. Sick. I'm going to throw a level four chromatic orb at the boy. Uh, then. Okay. <laughs> yep. Apologies. <laughs> no, it's... Uh, yeah, 20! It's correct. That is a hit, and there is Damn nothing that is. they can do about it. There is nothing Roll they can do. 68. What kind of damage? Ice cold. Yeah, what? 21. What is that damage? is halved as they no longer, they still have their, they now have their cold resistance back as the elemental bane went. Uh, hmm. or 10 points of cold damage. And your ones too? Uh, no, that's on elemental adept acid that I oh, will right. remind chat about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so the, the orb of ice smashes into Zax Ravis's shoulder. You see them twist. Um, the rhyme does coat it, but it isn't as damaging as it once was without the elemental bane to strip away their fiendish resilience. I do, however, have enough sorcery points to empower it. So can I do that, I please? Think, I think you have to do that when you cast the spell. When you roll damage for a spell, you can spend oh. a sorcery point. Oh, and I'm corrected. Well, thank you. No? Uh, <laughs> oh, there it is. You want to do that? Sure. I can re-roll up to four of my dice, so I can roll re-roll right. two of them. So the two okay. ones are going to re-roll. I'll reset the damage I just did. Um, okay, so you just want to re-roll the two, the, the two ones. Do you want to re-roll the two, the two, two as well? Uh, I, I've only got points for two. Well, no, it's you spend it once, and then you can re-roll up to four dice in that roll. Oh, shit, my mouth. All right. I'll re-roll the two then. <laughs> We're figuring it out. 13, 17, <laughs> plus whatever this roll is. So, oh yeah. What so if you oh, re-roll 3d6. Said. Oh, 3d8, sorry. 15. Aye, that's much better. Oi! So, <laughs> 15 plus 6, 31. 31, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll assume that. Uh, it is still halved. Um, <laughs> so, 15 points of cold damage with the resistance. Uh, yeah, you see them kind of grunting as the, the ice coats over their shoulder, but still standing the resilience uh, protecting them against some of the rime and frost uh, anything else they're still standing they're uh, still standing nova did shout where they were but now has stabbed them so that's that question is answered yeah cause there was However, a wall of fire and we in need the to way. get tiangong so yes yep. i'm going to surround him as well okay so you just rush forward to try and surround uh, them make sure yes okay yeah surround them thank you quillic and kalar Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to him because I'm a weak little nerd. Um, I'll just sacred flame him. Uh, the deck save. Okay. Sacred flame. That is a oh advantage because it is a spell or magical effect. That's going to be a twenty-two. Mm. Is there the mm. the magic seems to warp around their body. Nice. <laughs> Neat. Uh, your action. You're currently got, prone, got, so I'm assuming you stand up. Oh, yes, I'll stand up as well. I've got bonus oh, action heal going around. Who wants it? I'm saying, who wants it? <laughs> I'm looking around the room. Nova. I'll heal Nova. Actually, um, hey, you was too slow. <laughs> it's okay. I'll do a bonus action healing word uh, at level Juan. But not very much. Oh, nine healing. Damn. Ooh. It's almost like it's based on dice, Tom Hazel. <laughs> I'll scream. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you get mad when you roll low on a heal, and then you're like, oh, level one heal, I got really good. <laughs> no, I nine on a level one heal. That's pretty much what I yeah, got on a level good. four heal not that long ago. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, uh, Anything else, Quill? Move? That's everything. You want to move anywhere? No? You're 15 yeah, I'll left. just go hit. Yeah. All right. Sentry. Well, I'll do. Not much. Alrighty. I'm gonna wake make a weapons attack against them. Um, and yeah, get my ensnare and strike 
going. Uh, yeah. 15 plus 9 to hit on the sword. That will hit. Yep, that will hit. Nice. And then I need a strength save for the in ensnaring strike, please. Yep. Still is a magical effect, so they still get the advantage. Oh, and that 20 there. So, 23? Yeah, that's fine. Cool. I'll just roll the damage then. D8 plus 5. Ba -ba -da. So that's 8 damage total. And then I'll go in for another hit. But you don't forget uh, you get Her Majesty's Thorns. You get the, oh, no, the D4, D4 from Her Majesty's Thorn. Very oh, true. Yeah. So, 8. Cool. So that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 And another damage. 4. Yep. Um, and then the second attack Ooh. was a 16 to hit. Plus, well, 16 plus yep. your bonus. Um, plus 9. So very, yeah, easily enough to hit. So Her Majesty's uh, Rose comes slashing down the thorns, tearing through Zaxaravis' body. And then the second blow comes again. Now, um, as you, Ten. before you, okay, so total, 10? 12 total for the second one. 12 total. Uh, are you trying to lethally kill this creature? No, I want to knock him out. Knock them out, yeah, cool, all right. Uh, so you kind of strike with the flat of the blade against their, their head as you see them kind of recoil slightly. Still standing, but the, the blow would have, you know, if it had been lethal, it would have knocked them out instead of kill them. Um, Ayla. Oh, at the top of the round, sorry, there is a lair action that goes beforehand. Boo. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. Indeed. It's okay, we missed a ton of these last time, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. I missed a ton of these. He may as well do two of them uh, then, Mark. Let's do two. No, Shut up! Do that. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, so the same thing that happened before, there is a shimmer as this version of Zax Rabbit seems to shimmer and flash, and then a similar shimmer and flash comes from the other end of the room as a duplicate, and now there are two Zax Ravises, one still being surrounded by all of you, one appearing by the door to their cockpit. Zax Rabbi. Uh, uh... Ayla, it is your turn. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Um, I will give him a little smack in okay. the face. Sure. Make an attack roll. Why is that in my head? Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Well, like oh! <laughs> Not no, 20. What the fuck? You okay. swing the hammer, and as it connects, you don't need to roll the damage, because as it connects, this <gasps> version of Jack Travis splits into light. It just... Yeah. No! Evaporates no! into Wasted a that 20 on that shit. That's, <gasps> yeah, that's, so. that's why this system is in place in the, on his ship, on their ship, sorry, uh, to disorientate damn. and confuse. Um, that would have been... Oh, I'm not confused. I'm but, furious! That would be 15, because it's <laughs> difficult. difficult. Rain still, isn't it? I believe so. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So I'll just start, start making my way over. Towards, yeah, you start yeah. running towards Zach's Ravis. Nova, uh, I will tell you, you are the one to go before their turn. You are the last one before their turn. Um, and you see this hologram just in front of you. Uh, do I need to do a difficult terrain thing moving out of here? Just an extra five foot of movement. Five. Move out. 10, 15, 20, 25. So you basically okay. rush down the deck of this polished, silvery ship, uh, and you see Zax Ravis standing before the deck of the their cockpit. They don't look <laughs> like they're about to open the door. They are in the middle of a kind of mocking bow um, as you rush, your feet kind of echoing. What do you do? It's going to be two Eldritch Blasts. Okay. Come on, guys, dice gods, come on. Okay. Uh, 13 on one and 15 on the other. Neither of those hit, I'm afraid. Uh, one blasts the door next to him. The next one blasts the door next to them. Um, the two uh, smoking purple lances of energy trailing through the air are naturally quick. They manage to dodge the blows. And that is the end of your turn. That's all I've got. You see a yeah. very familiar spell. Um, you recognize it no! as Dimension Door as Zax Ravis disappears. No! 
Uh, we will stay in initiative because yeah, you guys might be able to track him down. Uh, Lucius. But yeah. Uh, and I'll say that Nova because Nova and Quill. Quill, you can you what? cast Dimension Door? No. Have you not cast it before? I thought you could off the ring or something. Uh, no, I don't think it's on the ring. Um, oh. Unless it is. No, know. it's not. Fly okay. is on so there. So Nova... Nova is the one who recognizes this spell as Dimension Door. Anybody who yeah, can cast it, it, like yeah. I don't, I don't I know. I've seen it before does. as well. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... I've told you through it. Mm. Go on, Chris Drop. You've got an um. I'm your gonna turn. Slush is gonna assume he's teleported into the cockpit. Uh, okay. Is it visible? The cockpit? Is it like open doors? Can yeah, you saw it's seats. where the two. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not open, but you 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 don't know what's in there. But it's very clearly the front of the ship, and the two armored animated armors were guarding the doors that lead into it when you first came in here. And he came, they came out of one of those doors. Um, and you can you assume that that is the front of the ship. You don't know what's in there, but. All right. You've got the spell right over, if I recall. Dimension door, yeah, and I've pulled you through it recently at the um, space dock. 10 or was it 5 and then 10 to get out of this whole area it, it's, it's basically terrain. double movement moving through it or out of it yeah. All right, so. so that's 10 20 25 30 I'm going to dash to Nova mm -hmm. and nod at her take us through to the cockpit he's got to be there ok well like and Kalar uh, I can't do locate object, uh, so instead I will use my eye of the storm. Two. Uh, thing is, if I ask where is Zach's Ravos, it might just put me in a place I just don't know. So, Hello. what's the question? How do we get to Zach's Ravos? Okay, that's the question you're asking. Call them a big meanie. <laughs> That's how you I get mean, to them. You know, <laughs> I mean, get to. Not I mean, specific. the get to is obvious, Single right? Tier. Single tier. <laughs> is is that the question you're asking? Confirm it to me, yeah. Willick and Kalar. State the question. How do we catch up to Zach Ravos? Because I'm worried the eye ah. is going to be like. Hmm. You, yeah, you call him a big loser. If the eye is Lucius, then I'm screwed. <laughs> so, your vision. Uh, how many charges do you have left, by the way, on the eye? One. This is my last okay. charge. You Not just tomorrow, watch. Though. Your vision goes cloudy, the familiar fog crackling with the energy glow of a thunderstorm in the distance fills your mind. And then it very quickly returns to the very room that you are standing in as your vision drifts backwards to a small round hatch hidden in the floor that descends down into a long, long laddered shaft that emerges into a small cavern where a tiny little astral ship is waiting and prepared. You follow it inside to where the creature known as Zax Ravis is bringing up their wrist to a kind of similar crystal slab Magitek device and seems to be inputting some sort of code that is flashing red. Beep, boop, beep, 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 boop, beep. And that is what you see as your vision ends. And I can see the hatch? You know where it is, yeah. It was hidden in the floor. You would have had to have... It's a secret, you know, thing that you would have had secret to have found. Tunnel. But you no longer need to make a check. You know exactly where it is and how to open it. Uh, century. Wonderful. Um. So I, I, I don't, well, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know where he vision. is. I don't, don't, I don't see the vision. It's I mean, if I had more time, I would have like, I would have like directed towards it. But like, I don't know how much you time got, do I you have. Got, you got six. You got six seconds. Like the 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 vision is instantaneous. Like the vision is kind of outside of time. Um, you still have effectively a movement and a bonus action. You still have your movement if you want to move up to where the hatch is. True. Oh yeah, and that, yeah, absolutely, yeah. I mean, I, I thought that was my entire turn. I'll yeah, I'll move up to the hatch and then like down here, through here, hatch, secret hatch. 
Secret tunnel. Yeah, yeah. You, you point at the floor, <laughs> and um, you can even, I'd say, with a bonus action, you can start opening it. You're literally, oh. you know, finding the edges and, like, gesturing. Sentry might need to actually physically open it, but you're starting the process of, like, mapping out where it is and things like that. Um, so there you go, Sentry. Okay. Uh, you, you can help Quill with that, if you wish. I will go help Quill. Okay. Yeah, so with Sentry's strength, you manage to pry open this hidden, previously hidden trap door. Um, and as it opens, you see it leads underneath the ship and also hidden from view, there is a circular tunnel that seems to have just been carved straight down. Um, there is a ladder. It's like a thin metal rung ladder that leads all the way down. So is this a fake ship, this entire thing? Uh, it is pitch black. This No, the ship is real, but there's uh, this hatch looks like it leads to beneath the ship. And then there is a like a tunnel carved into the rock that leads down. Um, oh, Sentry, looking down, okay. do you? Uh, I don't think you have dark vision, do you? Um, no, I don't know. All right. After uh, about 50, 60 feet, it becomes pitch black, and you have no idea how deep this, this tunnel is. Uh, Quill in your vision, okay. it's hard to tell the distance, but it was some fair distance. It wasn't like, you know, oh, that's like a 50-foot drop or whatever. Hurt distance. Potentially. Uh, what would you like to do, Sentry? Um, I will I will start climbing down. Okay, so yeah, you spend your movement to basically start climbing down as quickly as possible. Yeah. Uh, then we go to Ayla. Um, I'm going to use my movement to go as far as I can. So it's 60 feet to the hatch, and then as far as I think I can get another 10 feet down. Okay, so yeah, you're just behind sentry then, basically, as the two of you are beginning to climb your way down. Yeah, the I can move a little, a little bit quicker than some of sure. them, so I just want to try and go as quick as I yep. can. Yep. Alright, Nova Vija. Yeah, I'm going to have to go down as well, so it's 60 foot for me to go, uh, to dash and go down uh, like start, like get to the hatch basically. Basically, um, you're, you're going to be at just above Ayla at the very top of the hatch, effectively. Yeah. Um, yep. And I'll just shout over my shoulder at Lucius, I've run out of magic! <laughs> it's not time! Yep. So, Lucius, you get that and uh, <laughs> shout it at oh. you. <laughs> um, Lucius, Quill, and Nova, who's technically still at the top of the hatch, oh, you no. notice all yeah. of the lights, the light that was previously in this place, this soft white light, goes off. The whole ship just goes dark, and a faint red glow begins to pulse. Mm -hmm. And in a, in a strange language, do any of you speak Abyssal or Infernal? Hello. Uh, wait, no. Do you speak it? No. Uh, the messenger ring doesn't have it. The translator ring doesn't have it. No. So you hear... <sighs> you hear this, this demonic language repeating, just repeating the same phrase over and over again. Mm. Um, mm. Lucius. Uh, I'm just going to dash for the tunnel like everybody else. Okay. So you pretty much get to next to Quill, I think. Maybe just a little bit down there. Okay. Quillic and Kalar. Uh, yep. What do you want to say? I think uh, you can say stuff. Like obviously role play. I don't I don't want to stop. Just the obvious that, that uh, I think this is going to explode. <laughs> Get down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I guess Thalia was waiting, wasn't she? For something to leave the asteroid. She's I guess she's, the last thing you remember is that she was try yeah, she was gonna try and find out where that Zax's ship was and then cut off them from escaping on on the ship. Yeah. I'm guessing but she's more than where? 120 feet away. Um, cool. I will use okay, my uh, Dusk Willow ring to cast Fly, and I want to fly down the tunnel. So you get the furthest down there. You get 60 feet basically down there, right? And then you could dash. So you could mm -hmm. go 100. Oh, no, it's an action to cast Fly, so... Yeah, yes. so 60 feet down the tunnel. Okay, so yeah, you are plunging down in darkness. This tunnel is now pitch black, by the way. So if you don't have a light source, you are just flying straight down into pitch black um, as you go down there. Oh, I've crashed into harder things. Sentry. <laughs> I'm going to keep going down, and I'll dash to go the full 60 feet down. Yeah, so kind of slide down the ladder, just put your Sliding hands down. on the edges and just... Slide down. <laughs> so you went 30 feet down, then 60 feet down. Okay, right, cool. 
Uh, you, you, you are still climbing down, and you can see no lights. You're just in darkness, sliding down as quickly as you possibly can. Um, Ayla, same thing, I assume. Oh, I think Ayla's disconnected. Oh, oh I think Ayla's disconnected. Yeah, okay, I'm guessing she'll probably uh, go go down as well. She'll, she'll dash down, I guess. Um, she has to navigate around Sentry, but because you two are allies, that's easy to do. You just kind of swap and then whew, let let Ayla go s s hurtling past you. I believe her speed is 45, so she can dash 80. So she will okay. 10 feet down. So they're basically Sentry and Ayla are now almost dead even for where they are down this ladder. But yeah, no no line of sight to anything. Um, Ayla's rage would also wear off, so we just need to remind Katie that rage is gone. Uh, Nova VJ. Okay. Um, I don't know how this would work, but could I just like drop and because uh, it's just a shaft that goes straight down for an oh, untold back. amount of an untold distance, right. right? You don't oh, know how far it is. You know how far it is. I'll, okay. I'll catch you up in a second, Katie. Yeah, I don't know how this would work I'm with Ayla and, um, and Ayla and um, Sentry in the way, but could I just? drop and then as soon as i see ground activate levitate if you want to if that's the condition that as soon as you see ground you'll cast levitate yes you can do that so i, I don't it. hit the ground and splash <laughs> break my legs <laughs> mm, yeah there's, there's some very demonic like asmodeus wording in that <laughs> um, i have described the tunnel like, I've, I've got a lantern as well, <laughs> so I've got a lantern, so I could light the lantern and then throw that down and then see where that lands and then drop. Sure. That's going to be an action to light the lantern and then throw it down. Okay. Oh, it's going to hit me, isn't it? Because <laughs> you basically, to cast levitate, you're going to need to ready the action that like, okay, as soon as yeah. I think that I'm near the bottom, I'll cast levitate. You can do it, just it's an extra turn. It's You throw the light down now like a, a flare drop, and then next turn you can... Yeah. And then dive down. It's just going to... Sentry a light source. She casts about 20 feet of dim light from the Matrix. That does not illuminate mm. a bottom. It just illuminates more ladder and shaft. The thing is, is that this ship's going to blow up, so I don't really want to wait here another turn, waiting to, to start moving down. So sure. um, I'll I'll just I'll start I'll start moving down. Mm. I, I just want to get there. I'm so like fucking. Oh. Kim, here's the thing. You could absolutely just get there. Just jump down. Just jump forehead. Um, yeah. <laughs> do you know? Can I do that in one action if it's a jump and then levitate at the last second? If yeah, I can. I'd say you can. Yeah, because it's a movement to just walk into a hole. And then you're readying your you action. Know like, as soon as I think I'm going to hit the ground, I'm going to cast Levitate. That's the ready action. Nova's so desperate. Nova's so desperate. She's going to do it, even if this is going to be... If this is going to hurt, okay. she's going to do it. Sentry and Ayla and Quill. Uh, this The shaft is quite wide, so the, you can kind of, like, fall down with each other. You see yep. a blue missile just whoosh, past you as Nova <laughs> just drops. Feet first, yep. just plummets down. Nova, I'm going to need yeah. you. I want you to make a... Because this is going to basically be a test of, like, your reaction speed. <laughs> so I think that this yeah. is going to be... Make an initial... Like, this. basically, we're going to use dexterity. It's a dexterity check. So it's a d20 okay. plus your dex mod. So... D20 and... plus three. Okay. Do you remember when you missiled yourself even. into a giant? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I do have Tomb of the Vistas. I am eyeing up Tomb of the Vistas. Like, you I know. know. I know. 14. Okay. You plummet. And you feel... You don't feel a bottom for some time. As after about... 200 feet... Oh my god. You are... You manage to activate levitate, but it's not quite... It's going to lessen the blow. Okay. But you are taking a ton of falling damage. Amazing Spider-Man 2. Can I... Spider-Man! <laughs> Can I tomb it? <laughs> well, tomb is if you take a certain amount of damage, right? It then activates. Yeah, if I take damage. How does, so how does it activate tomb? Because if I, so it says as a reaction know. when you take damage. <laughs> Quentin Stacy did. Okay. All right. Well, let's see because I'm going to take off because you've activated the levitate. 
I, if you had got 15 on this on this check, I would have halved it. But I'm gonna ah! take off five. I'm gonna take off five d6 of falling damage. Oh good. 200 feet means 20 d6 of falling damage. Oh so you're gonna take shit. 15, 15 d6 falling damage. What's your HP? Oh shit. I What's your current 59. HP? Okay. 59. 59. What's the total? What's the max? <gasps> <gasps> I. Just so do you activate? Oh, do you activate Tomb of Leviticus? Do you activate Tomb of Leviticus? Oh, I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm not gonna. Okay. I'm not gonna. So. No. Uh, I am gonna. I am gonna ask you to make a Constitution saving throw. Yeah. <laughs> just, just because I think that this justifies an injury check without anything. Yeah. <laughs> I think that she this would is absolutely do this though. Two. She would absolutely oh. do it's this. It's a lot like, of ones and twos. Desperate. Yeah. She is desperate. Um. So Constitution sure. saving throw. D sure. Fifteen d six. Fifty two damage. That's 20, pretty 21. good. Twenty one. Conso. Dude, you know what? Not even an injury check. The levitate <laughs> is enough that as you plummet. It just pulls right. enough of the impact that you feel this intense pain. Like you, it feels like your bones are going to shake themselves apart as you land. Um, the levitate spell, and even Tiangong itself manages to instill enough power that it absorbs most of the impact. You feel your body ready to fall apart. You ache all over. Your legs shaking terribly, but you impact on the ground. And just in the distance, maybe about sort of ninety feet away. You can see the faint light of an astral thruster beginning to power up um, as you can see a ship ahead of you. No. No, it's not going to be enough! That's oh. uh, Lucius' turn. I'm going to jump down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. no. <laughs> sure. I've got, I've, got, got... <laughs> I've got 20d6 ready to go, man. Like, you, I, I'm ready to roll it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not quite sure what to do here. Tell uh, me about it. Nova is on, so Nova's on seven hit points right, right now. Seven hit points. Jesus. I love it. I yeah. love it. That's big, big balls move. She's, she's that desperate. Nova. She's that desperate. Yeah. Like... The gel layer absorbed the impact. She likes to shoot the breeze. Oh, man. I'm gonna... <laughs> what? Do you not remember those adverts? <laughs> Let's <laughs> save the shoe adverts for after the break, Lucius. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get down there, 30 feet of movement, but also cast uh, dancing lights and kind of shoot them ahead of me and for okay. everybody else. Sure. Yeah, so it illuminates the shaft, um, and yeah, you begin to see Nova, the faint image of Nova at the bottom, just kind of cradling her knees and then looking like she's <laughs> ready to dart forward. Uh, Quillek and Kalar. So you went six so feet. So can I? Yeah. How, how far you went from the bottom am I? I feel like. Uh, so you would be 140 feet from the bottom. It's 200 foot sharp. <laughs> if I, I've got a flying speed downwards of, uh, what is it? 100. Just drop. Your flying speed doesn't change. Like, I mean, if you want to basically just stop flying and then fly again as you hit the bottom. <laughs> Sure, maybe. So I'll make you do the same in. thing that Nova did. Yeah. My wings in and then release the wings Dive just bomb. so I get enough speed to then launch down the tunnel like a missile. <laughs> uh, if, well, if you want to do I'll that. I'll keep flying. I think when he's still do fast. You... Sure. You want to do that? You don't want to do your dive bomb idea? Because I'll let you do it. Um, I'll, there'll be a roll involved to see if you take damage, but you can do it for sure. Makes sense that you could... The fly spell is basically giving you a movement speed in all directions, but if you were just falling, you'd go faster. Falling is faster than the fly speed of the magic of the spell. Yeah, just, just experiment. I'm pretty that. good at flying, or I used to be. Yeah. Oof. What kind of role would I make? Oh my god. Well, also, mm. you've described this before <laughs> as the fly spell that you conjure gives you a second wing, right? So you're basically flying as an Aracocra would when you have the fly spell active. Um, yeah. I would say, for you, your wisdom is your highest stat. Yes. I would say, yeah, make a... It would be wisdom plus proficiency. So, um, whatever your proficiency bonus plus your wisdom bonus is. Barrel roll. Yeah, I'll... Try it. I'm I'll not coming it. back to save you. <laughs> Give me a roll. <laughs> oh, God. So, it, oh it would God. be wisdom plus proficiency. So, it's plus nine. I'll pour ten, ten, which is 11. I just rolled 20. Oh, you watch Quill folds the wings around himself and just drops. And you see this missile of a bird, whoosh, just like Nova did, 
but the shaft is just big enough that as Quill, you are reaching the bottom, you bring these wings out. And for you, this is just like you were flying when you were younger. This is the Valley of Storms before you were hit. This was the peak when you were at your peak best, ready to become a messenger. <laughs> the dull lights of um, the dancing lights that Lucius has created gives you just enough to see the lip of this cavern that it opens up into as you skyrocket down. And yeah, you not only reach the bottom of the platform, but you can move 60 feet towards the ship, bringing you next to this ramp, which is still down, leading into a small skiff-like shuttle. Um, but that'll be the, the end door of your open. Turn. The door is still, it's closing, but it's still open for now. Holy shit. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, so first a Century. blue bullet and then a, a little yeah. yellow every uh, bullet. A little burb, burb bullet. I imagine it's like those gannets, you know, that just plummet to fish. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. And with the idea of the portal, because you couldn't really see where the lip was, you kind of had Luke in the X-Wing moment where you're just like, hmm. just turn, like you just close your eyes and just wait for that moment where Hesper is like, now. Trust <laughs> your instincts. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Trust in me, Quill. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. So, after seeing two of the party members just plummet down a hole, <laughs> Sentry <laughs> can follow. <laughs> uh, Sentry likes falling me. off of things. I love falling off stuff. I'm really good at it. So, <laughs> if, if I cast enlarge, will that. <laughs> you Wait, no, 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 what's Nova's dead? You what's might, the aim? You might, dead. you might squash me. <laughs> That's what true. would Nova the aim of enlarge be? Nova is down there, Please yes. Don't. Please don't. Yeah, also, I, it don't would, think I won't. It wouldn't really help you fall. It would. It would. It, you'd still I'd be fall falling. Faster, right? but, well, <laughs> terminal velocity is a thing, so. Yeah. <laughs> then no, I you will land I will heavier. Climb, that's for sure. I will try and climb as fast as I can, trying so not to So sixty feet down. So you are ninety. Fast so you're one hundred and fifty feet down. So you've still got like a fifty foot of movement before you reach the bottom of the. Uh, <laughs> Goodness thing. gracious. Uh, uh, it's 7 HP. Like I'm assuming you um, do the same thing. So I can go 90 if I dash. So I'll just go as quick as I can down 90. You are like 10 feet from the bottom of this shaft. Like just I didn't calculate. So when I was at the top, I for some reason uh -huh. miscalculated and only went 70 instead of 90. So I'd actually have 20 reach. foot more in the tunnel. You reach the bottom. You reach the bottom, and you can run ten okay. feet into the tunnel. the 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 Wait. skiff is about is fifty feet in front of you. Quill is on top of it, just about to slip in before this kind of door shuts. Uh, this this loading ramp effectively um, cuts him off. But yeah, you you reach the bottom. Nice. Uh, Nova, your turn. Um, the the door is close to shutting. If you run, if you dash, you can make it. I'm gonna dash, but can I don't know. Can I also quaff a potion of healing? Uh, it's bonus action. Yeah, it's a bonus action to, to take a potion. That's your last one. I will do both. I will do both. Yep, and I'm your, just, I'll just start shouting. That's regular, isn't it? Uh, no, um, I've got two uh, potions of healing. You used one um, recently. I, I you used, used the no, I used two graces. And... I used two graces. Oh, right, okay. But I had two regular, like, boring potions. Okay. Right, basic so you're down potions. to one. Eight HP I'm down back. to one basic. You're down to one. Eight. Yeah. Hooray! Eight I'm on 15 HP! And yeah, oh, Quill, as more. you... As Quillick hits the, the top of the ramp, Nova, you jump mm -hmm. up, pull yourself up, and the two of you are the only ones who are going to get inside okay. before the door shuts. Yeah. Um, and the, can the, I just the, shout? The, like, taking off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can shout, I just be yeah. shouting, they're taking off, they're taking off! Sure. Um, as you shout, though, Quillick and the two of you pull yourselves inside, the shout is enough warning to you. Zach Zaravis yeah, turns shit. his attention, right. their attention previously on powering up this little skiff, this little astral skiff. He turns around, um, and for the first time, you see their brow furrow, and this voice in your mind suddenly now sounds aggressive. Do you not know how to just simply die? Leave Zax Ravis alone. I am done with you. And on their turn, they Here will. Here we go. Uh, man, there's so little that they can do right now, though. Good. Um, mm. Mm. Surrender, that's one option. The squishies. Cry, oh, that's not an option. Just give us the sword! Just give us Chen Gong! Nova, you obviously look heavily injured. Quill, how injured yeah. would you, does Quill look? Does he have, like, cuts and bruises? Like, 
Uh, give or take so halfway. Really fresh. Give or take. So he looks at you, Quill, because sensing between the two of you, you seem to be the, the healthier. Uh, and in your mind, uh, you just hear... Uh, you hear a suggest... Actually, no, it would be better if he... Yeah, he gazes at you with these silvery eyes. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. He's going to try and stun you with his... Um, come on, Quill, come on, Quill, come on, Quill, come on, Quill, come on, Quill. The good one. Oh, Natural yeah. 20! Oh, oh yeah. You... <laughs> You almost see Zax Rava stagger back as as he tries as they try to warp your mind and cloud it with mist and fog. There's just a crack of thunder as you let the the power of Hesper flow through you into his mind, into their mind. Yeah. As he stumbles back, he just grits his teeth. Uh, they grit their teeth, and with the rapier, they charge forward and attack Nova three times because oh. Nova looks most injured. Oh my God. Nova, the first strike oh. is a uh, 16. Doesn't hit! Tiangong pulls your arm up, deflecting the blade away as it battles against itself, trying to protect you. The second attack is a 26. Yep. 10 points, uh, 12 points of damage. It's a good job you took that potion. Okay, three points. Wait! Not. Yep. What's the what's the wrong? No, that's meta gaming, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I would like. Can I can I activate Tomb of the Vistus? But I don't know. This is going to be playing to your please mark rule of call. Can I throw myself on Zach's Ravos and activate the tomb so they're in the tomb with me? Here's my problem. I you know I love saying yes to stuff. The problem is, is that I don't want this to become a thing that Nova thinks that can always work, like because it kind of breaks that ability a little bit. Yeah, what I would say so is, I will, I will let him. I'll let you do it. Zax will get a deck saving throw. Okay. Yeah. Does that sound fair? I'm gonna tomb anyway. Like to... I'm gonna tomb anyway. All right. But like that, right. that would be a bonus okay. if I could get them in with me. Sure. Because they they see you coming and they see this ice beginning to form around you and they will throw themselves backwards. In the hope of avoiding this this icy thing, it is a magic effect. Dex saving throw. What's your spell casting uh, DC? Seventeen. They are not quick enough. You grab <gasps> the front of their their cloak. Nice. This obs this ostentatious golden cloak. You grab the front of it. One hand on their wrist, holding uh, Tiangong. And you just watch Quill as this sphere of ice, this chunk of raw, frozen ice forms around the two of them. Him, they, They're frozen in anger uh, as Nova surrounds it, leaving the cockpit and the controls that they were controlling, um, they, that you saw Zax Ravis inputting something into before, are open at the front of the ship, ready for you to uh, rush to if you need to. Uh, Lucius, so they don't get their second attack as well, their, their last attack. Lucius... Damn. You are in a dark, dark ladder tunnel. Well, I've got a little stealth <laughs> lights. Um, I'm going to yep. continue moving down. However, I'm going to use absorb elements as a reaction. And can I use it if there were an explosion and a shaft of okay. fire were to come down this tunnel? I would like to absorb elements on fire. Okay, sure. And protect so you're everyone basically... from I mean, the elements. Absorb. You don't need to ready an action to do that. Absorb elements is a reaction, and you get to pick what type anyway. of damage it is. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, you can absolutely do that. But that's a cool I'd thing. Like... So you kind of like, you're like last on the ladder, and you're holding your body ready to try and absorb as much as you can. Yeah. Cool. Quillic. This is so... this is the big one. Yeah, I mean, co-pilot Quill, uh, he kind of knows what the ship is trying to do, right? <laughs> Uh, I would say this ship is different. Um, the symbols are written in a language you don't understand in Infernal Abyssal. But I would say that Quill's intelligence and knowledge of magic is enough that the little pad that is currently now just resting on the cockpit is counting down. Um, and it looks like there's not a lot of time left on it. There's still some, but uh, <laughs> but you could try and disable it. It's an arcana check if you want to try and stop it. If you pick up the pad and start inputting glyphs and symbols. I mean, I, I'll have to try something. While he's in a Tomb of the Vistas, I can't do anything to him. So, yeah, I um, will try yeah. and figure out this pad, Nova style. Sure. 
Um, Arcana check. Arcana check. Yeah. Ugh, 11. Ah, the, the symbols, you don't understand the language, you're pressing stuff, it starts flashing. You don't think you've made it what worse. Mean? You don't think you've stopped anything. Right, go on. Uh, was that an action or a bonus action or... I'd say bonus action. Alright, since I haven't figured that out, I would like to point my uh, wand of magic missiles and really start charging it up. And the moment he gets out, I want to cast all seven charges of magic missile on him. Okay. Do you want to try and kill Zax Ravis? No. I, can, I, yeah, can you not non-lethal... Uh, with magic spell. missile, I'd right. say you can. Yeah, with magic missile. Some <laughs> spells, no. Fireball, no. Magic missile, yeah. yes. It's like all concussive damage. blasts. I hit all of his yeah, pressure points. Exactly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you're ready in action that as soon as the tomb drops, you will cast on them the magic missile wand. All right, sentry. Seven level. Um, no, magic missile. So you figure that out during your turn. Sure. Um, yeah. So I'm 50 foot down. Yeah, so I get to the bottom and I'll just I'll start making my way through. Just panicking yeah. about yeah, you the and, children. Yeah, you and Ayla can see that where the little skiff was about to take off, it looks like it was about to leave. The engine is going, but it's not moving. And you can hear all sorts of sounds coming inside. But yeah, that's you basically run towards it and that's your turn, I believe, yeah? Yeah. Um, any bonus actions? You're about, yeah, you'd be 50 feet away from the skiff. Um, I don't know. I can't do anything on bonus actions. I'm, okay. out, of, I'm out of bell slots. Ayla? Um, nope. I'll run the remaining distance along to ship. Yeah, um, it's like a little... The way to describe it would be almost like um, a little... Uh, not quite rowing boat, larger than that, like a like a small yacht, but it has like thin metal runners. Um, it has a giant sky sail, um, similar to uh, some of the ships that you... Well, the Dusk Willow ship that you saw before. It has like a large silvery sail. Um, and it has a completely enclosed compartment. Like, it's like a long, thin almond uh, enclosed fully. Almond ship. Um, yeah. I'm guessing is the door is closed now. Yes, it is. Yeah. But you can try yeah. and force it okay. open if you want. Can I try and do that? Um, yeah, sure. It'll be a strength athletics Yeah, check. I'll try and do that. You're not raging anymore because your rage would have run no. out. And climbing down, but yeah, you can make an athletics check to just uh, Conan your Conan it down. Twenty-one. Yeah, just you put your feet up on the metal struts, straining your muscles, crackling with lightning as you uh, you hear metal bending and screeching as you begin pulling the door down. Um, open enough now oh. that next turn people will be able to jump in. But that's going to be your action, basically. Yep, I'm done. Cool. Or oh, shit. Nova. Well, it's a door. It's not the full ship. Nova, yeah. uh, when does tomb end? Is it start of your turn or end? End of my turn. So you just so have I this moment locked. Just yeah. locked, looking at Tiangong, looking at Zax Ravis as you're frozen. And then at the end of your turn, the ice melts away and you hear a... <laughs> as, as Quill yeah. stood right behind Zax Ravis, <laughs> pointing a wand. Yeah. <laughs> Quill, roll That's the damage, man. That's all nine, I've got. Nine, attack roll and nine. Yeah. I hope uh, this works, because that's all I've got, friend. Quill, oh, come on, I mean, roll it for fun. Zach's had four hit points left. You knock him <gasps> unconscious. You knock them unconscious. As the bolts just slam into their back and their mind, and they slump onto the ground. Uh, but there is still a beeping oh sound. God. I have to roll a d20. On a one, the ro wand is destroyed. It's fine. No. Hey. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. Uh, that is your. Uh, that's your ready to action. Um, the beeping gets louder and faster from the little control pad. Are we still in initiative? We are. Out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I okay. need to know who's in this tunnel and where you guys are if this thing goes off. Lucius. I'm in the tunnel. <laughs> You Probably are. The highest point. Uh, so you are the down. highest. I think you've got, you went 60. I've done 90 feet now. Okay. If I do 30 so, this turn. Yep. So that's three, okay. three well, rounds. Well, you can dash as well. Yep. Uh, I would be dashing, actually. You're right. Uh, but I've been casting 60. dancing lights and absorb elements, so I wouldn't yeah. have. But this turn you could dash. 
Okay, but I still have my reaction. Oh yeah, I can do. Well, a yeah, reaction, elements, yeah, yeah. he wouldn't. Cool. He wouldn't have. Yeah, he would have got an extra so. sixty. So yeah, 90, yeah. 120. So you're 20 feet from the bottom. You've gone 180 feet in total. Just doing it in my head. You're about 20 feet from the bottom. Um, yeah. And yeah, I'm gonna make sure I'm in ready. front of the rest of the party, facing up, in looking case. at the tunnel, and being yeah, you basically the absorption of fire. Yeah. Well, both Sentry and Ayla have moved n n almost next to the the little skiff. So you're the, the furthest back, and you're still on the ladder. Uh, yeah. Quillek, add Kalar. Uh, I want to have another crack at this uh, this pad to see if I can stop the thing. But, I mean, I know that if I do bad. I'm worried you said you didn't make it worse when I last rolled. Uh, <laughs> so, you've, seen, you've seen movies, right? You don't cross... If you if you cut the wrong wire... I'll cut the, the red wire. Uh, so, oh, wisdom save? I'm oh, not wisdom save. I can't Arcana. check. I can't. Yeah. 16? 16. You tap a few glyphs and you think, hang on, this one does this. That You begin working it out. You press a sequence. The beeping stops. The red glow <gasps> disappears. <gasps> and with that, we will come out of initiative and take our first break. <sighs> oh, oh, we did it. Good lord. <laughs> Nice. Good lord. Oh my god, ten. Uh, I just want to, just before, before we go, I'm just going to roll, I want to roll what would have occurred had oh, uh, just for fun, the explosion dude. gone off. Um, that would have been 112 <laughs> damage. <laughs> 20, 20, that would have taken 10. everybody out. But well, how that everybody would have if we So if that would have been if you were up in the hangar, like if you were up in the hangar where it was before, you guys down here, it would have been 10d10 and a deck saving throw. So you probably... Yeah, that's that's insta-death for me. Yep. Me too. Um, my, max, my max HP is 114. Yeah. So no insta-death, but down. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I would have down, yeah. yeah. Even yeah, if I'd, be, ship, I'd have been down. I... I think we would all have been unconscious and we would just be bleeding out. Lucius would have been fine, though. <laughs> Don't worry, not Lucius, Lucius... that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, absorb elements is you get resistance. So you would have taken half that. You would have and, taken and 60, 10 as well. 55. Uh, that's what you do on melee attacks. Oh, the, so with the absorb attack. elements, you get yeah, resistance right. and then you add that to melee attacks. Yeah. Still, uh, cool. Yeah. Well, we're going to take it. Still. Uh, it's the dead. Yep. Lol. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Oh, so we're going to take a first break. Tommy, do you want to read out some messages while everyone else I takes a pee pee break? I've been desperate do. for a wee. Oh my God. I'm, I, right, you're oh also going to hear Milo. Okay. Milo's waiting for food. Right. While I uh, refresh the donations and figure out where I am and what I'm doing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well Tom. done, everybody. Well oh. done, everybody, but yeah. you definitely were very clutch in that encounter with that drop. See? Was, Taking risks. I, I knew I had a port at 11, and when you said yeah. it was wisdom save plus proficiency, I was like, plus nine, there's no way a 20 fails this. Yeah. <sighs> Holy crapoli. Good. Um, Good job. Downtown Alvi 97. Been a long week, but I got my Atlas Academy t shirt, which was absolutely oh, the highlight. Oh. Hope y'all have a wonderful week. It is. It's a wonderful, wonderful shirt. It's very, very cool design. And there's little sparkles yeah. on the back. It's awesome. It's one of my favorites. Um, yeah. Psylocian with a quarter hundo. First time oh. watching live after oh. spending the last two weeks watching the VODs from the start while struggling with working from home. So thanks for getting me through that. Have a good game. Thank you very much. And I'm glad to hear you were able to get through working from home uh, with us. Um, One-Eyed Willie's One-Eyed Willy has a, got a <laughs> quarter hundo as well. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I can't spend time with my son today due to work, but at least I can watch my favorite stream. Thanks for everything you do and keep it up. Well. Welcome. You are welcome among us, and I hope you can spend time Indeed. tomorrow or some other time. Uh, Sheriff Air or Sheriff Ayer uh, with another quarter hundo. Oh, my God. Oh. Hey, all. Donating Generous. today is I'm going to be a part of the pod squad for the next month as I'm getting laser eye surgery next week. Wishing all oh. good ro rolls. And hopefully see you all much clearer soon. Well, best of luck with the uh, yeah. laser eye surgery. I hope it goes very, very well. And that you can see... Basically into the future. That's what they do there, right? They let you see into the future? Yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> awesome. Forlornian. Uh, hey, hi, Rollers. I started watching Arrows two months ago, and now I'm finally current. 
favorite in-game Ooh. moment, Lucius goes cow tipping. Uh, favorite <laughs> out-game moment, Mark's DM meltdown. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> There's been um, so many. Which one? Which one? I know which one. I know which one. Uh, oh, look at Tommy Boy messing up his words. Not easy, is it? That one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, thank yeah. you all uh, for the fun adventures. Here's to many more. Thank you very much. Josh the Cool okay. J. Uh, been watching from the start from Australia live. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I won't do an Tom, Australian accent. Yeah. You're one of the few people that will appreciate this. But yeah, some, Bionic Fenrir just pointed out in chat. Nova's uh, Tomb of Levistus plan at the end. That was what Katara and Zula does at the end of the Avatar. I f completely didn't twig that that was oh, exactly the same it really cool move. Is. It's so cool. Oh, she katara it. Oh, that was awesome. She katara it. Yeah, that was awesome. Man, well, there you go. That's very cool. Thanks <laughs> for the reminder. Now I want to watch it all again. I only stopped like yeah. a month ago. <laughs> yeah, um, I just watched like all my best bits. I watched like the Agni Kai and like Ang at the end and stuff. So good. Oh, Hello. Amazing. Mm. Just talking about your cool tomb play. Your epic tomb, oh my God. tomb move. I have never this is the reaction uh, I live so for. badly. I love I'm this reaction. Spent. My favorite. I'm spent. I can't do it. I just that's got to be that was some the of the most stressful. Yeah, stressful. Like I thought I was going to die falling. The even the staircase in the really astral did. citadel yeah. didn't feel as close as this. That was. Uh, I don't know. That was. was pretty close. Yeah, <laughs> I remember you guys freaking out at that. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, angriest joker. Hey guys, I thought I'd share uh, some money for all you guys do for me. I'm going through a really bad breakup right now, but I can always count on high rollers to cheer me up and help me learn to be a better person in the world. Love you all and be safe. Well, yep. very sorry to hear that. Well, remember, you're always welcome among your D and D friends. <laughs> I'll be your friend. See it, as a, see it as a growing moment. It's an opportunity to a bit of introspection, a bit of like considering, you know, your your place and, and moving on and growing from it. Um, it's often the big challenges in our lives that help us develop and grow the most. So see it yes, as that. As absolutely. Opportunity. Uh, Nightjar. So when are we performing that exorcism on roll 20? Almost. <laughs> we almost did again today. I feel um, like today it's gone both it's ways. Actually, I feel like you guys yeah. have had some clutch D20s, like 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 Ayla's crit, Quill on the, the 20 saving throw. I've had a couple of 20s. I feel like it's been I more even nothing. today. Wow. Well, yes. Actually, yeah, that has. failed wisdom save, uh, dex save on the tomb. Mwah! Yeah. That was where I wanted yeah, very it. Very good. Uh, Maisie, 226. Uh, I'll just do one more and then I'll carry on a little bit later. One more. Um, hey, all. Me and my little brother, Thomas, love watching all your videos every week. Thank you for all the joy over the years. Well, he has a wonderful name, if I do say so myself. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Wow. <laughs> all right. You want to um, quickly pee pee? You want pee pee Tom? I will quickly pee pee. -pee, -pee. Tom? pee, -pee. Bye right, bye, pee pee okay. time. <laughs> uh, Trotty, any, anything over on Yogs to read yes, out? We, we have mention? one. Thank you to Amy the Irish. With some New Zealand dollar. New Zealand dollars. <laughs> Got Vegemite stuck in my pen. <laughs> That's Australian. Um, I love you all so much. This is my first time watching live, and I'm so excited. Thank you very much, oh. Amy the Irish. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. And also, I always Ola find Renve. that whenever I... Go on. Ola Renve just donated then. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. No message. I always feel that whenever I do my... that accent everyone either says that's australian or no that's new zealand no matter which one i do it's always the other one <laughs> well you said vegemite which is australian right okay do so they not have it in new zealand at all no but it's, it's known for being an oh, australian right, product okay they could have right. it in new zealand yeah i don't go. know they could vegemite. they could get vegemite stuck in their pen vegemite <laughs> stuck in me pen <sighs> Uh, <laughs> Kim's sorry, dying. I'm just—I'm not—I'm not sighing at that. I'm sighing looking at my character sheet because I am out <laughs> of everything. I everything. have nothing. I have three HP. All of my features and traits, everything, spell slots gone. But how good of a satisfaction does it feel now that you've won? Oh, Feels pretty that good. That took every every yeah. inch of everything that Nova had, like, and and the yeah. you know with teamwork as well, like just. 
oh my i would not have lasted another round i don't think that would have been it no all right bye macho she's just sticking there what are you eating re while we wait for tommy what you got cherry bakewell cherry bakewell oh Mm, that's a good snack vintage oh yeah love it man i love a frangy pan <laughs> oh man, Bakewell, Bakewell tart. Oh, I could murder a Bakewell so tart good. right now. I could do oh. some Tim more Tams. Cherry, actually, more cherry though. Need more cherries. Tim Tams. Mm. Yeah, get a bit of that Tim Tam slam. Tim Tam, mm. peak penguin. Tim Tam slam. Peak penguin. <laughs> well, old, old Bojo is that, is now Tim, or is, is, is conference. Is Tim Tam just a sexy. penguin? It's a better is penguin. The same? Is it a better? Thinner, penguin? like okay. way theory. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. Brother, I'm I'm like, I like a penguin. Penguins you know, aren't that Tim great, Tim. though. <laughs> yeah. They're penguins. I, I think I've got like yep. a nostalgia for penguins because it was always in my lunchbox as a kid, and it was like penguins. the best bit of oh, the yeah. lunch. It was like, mm. oh, fucking penguin! Penguins. Yeah, nom 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 nom. Tim yeah. Tams don't have the joke. joke here, so they have that going for them. I mean, but penguins didn't really have jokes either. True. Tim Tams come in a tray, so they're designed for you to eat more than one at once. So, uh, right. and also you can do a Tim Tam I'm... slam. All right, yeah, enough Tim, Tim, Tim Tams. 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 Let's get back to their slams. Dim Dams, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, <laughs> oh, Dim and Dams. Back to it. <laughs> yep, Dim and Dams. Wow. Oh my we God. rejoin the action with an unconscious Zax Ravis inside their small skiff with the door bent and broken, pulled off by Ayla. Lou, yeah. uh, Quill and Nova, I Nova mean... heavily injured, but standing over the body. Sentry running up behind, followed by Lucius. No explosion. All seems quiet. What do you guys want to do? Can I, I just... I turned off the thing. I turned off the thing. It's off. No explosion or whatever was going to happen. <sighs> Nova's not listening. Um, I'm just going to crawl over to Zach's and, and just just not even take the sword just put my hand on it and just <laughs> she's exhausted she's broken she's done yeah. like she can barely stay awake but she's got it she's yeah. got it and kind of fingers curl around <laughs> fingers curl around the crystalline basket hilt uh, and you feel that familiar tingle of power and otherworldliness that comes from Tiangong an ancient sense of a being much older than anything else and you feel that pulse of joy and satisfaction from your own shards of Tiangong as it senses you so close you will take some time you will need to attune to it to fully merge it but it is yours she's just going to start sobbing she's just going to hold them both and just she's broken she's just totally broken and she's just going to start sobbing and just cradling them both as, you know, you can cradle two swords, but sure. <laughs> yeah. 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 You kind of pull them together. Uh, Ayla and Sentry, you guys, yeah, find your way in and you find, yeah, the scene as it is with Nova kind of, you know, quietly crying of happy tears, I imagine, more than anything. And yeah. a little bit of exhaustion. Just a big emotional, yeah. Outburst. Um, yeah. But yeah, Quill is standing over <laughs> the body. Wand in one hand, uh, crystal slab in the other, looking a bit panicked. Lucius, you quickly follow up, coming behind um, to join everybody else. Anything from anyone else? Un- under the rules of Ero- Erosion Aracocra, the hands are attached to the wings, right? When I cast Fly, do I have a second hand? You, it does, but it can't hold anything. It, it has no form. Um, you can fly right. with that wing, but it can't hold stuff. So I guess, yeah, you've only okay. got the wand in one hand. Um, and I guess yeah, fair enough. I just put that down. Yeah. Yeah, because you still have the strength uh, disadvantage, so. Yeah. He's uh, he's unconscious. I don't know how long for. I hit him pretty hard, but um, do we take him back to, to Thalia? Do we... What, what do we do with him? Is everyone okay? Is it, is it going to explode? No, no explosion. I turned it off. I It's... I think, oh, anyway, the goodness. last shut down, the countdown has stopped. What if... <sighs> I think we're good to go. Can I what start if... um, to take some rope and tie up Zax Ravis? 
so that he can absolutely can. Okay, can I also maybe put like a scrap of cloth or something over his little peepers that he tries to keep mesmerizing people with? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you can absolutely do that. Yeah, so you can, um, yeah, you can tear. You can find like probably his own cloak. You can like tear his own cloak sure. and then wrap that and tie that around his head. Uh, around their head and yeah you you tie them up you tie up their you bind their muscular arms behind their back yeah um with you know but just so that they can they have mm. yeah, the, yeah you have that. prevented them from casting spells um any innate yeah. abilities that they have they may still be able to use but they can't they can't use their their gaze um they can't cast spells you've you've rendered them prevented them from doing any of that and in terms of how long they'll be unconscious like who knows could be uh, an hour to four hours. You really don't know. I hit him hard. <laughs> really hard. <laughs> like, I'm surprised he's not dead hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apart from the Tiangong shard that you see Nova currently cradling, um, you see Zax Ravis wore this ostentatious cloak that's now kind of been ripped and torn. They appear to have a, a belt with a few pouches on them. Um, there's a ring. There's a little earring. Um, but the skiff doesn't seem to have anything of value in it. The skiff seems to just be a small mm. craft, um, like a little escape craft. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know if this thing is usable. I mean, Alia kind of tore the door off, and the outside could easily get in. We were... Uh, we were under time pressure, and so door oh, no, was I inconvenient. It's amazing. I'm door just had saying to we go. have to go back up. We have to go back up is the thing. Uh, I think we should go back into the other ship anyway. There might be other things that we can use. We should definitely have a look. He's he's probably got all sorts. Ship. Could we not? Steal the whole ship. I like it. I like that plan. Ship. Anyone? Very, very ship. Big ship. Uh... Uh, unless you paint a target. could paint a target on our back, knowing that that's, that's this person's ship. That could be bad news for us. But we, we could get... figure it out when we get there. Right, let's go up then. Sentry, is we there anything, it. like, before you head back up, uh, up, is there anything Sentry wants to do or check on? or? I think she's. I think she'd be relieved that everyone's okay. Um, yeah, I think she just wants to get back to Thalia. ASAP, okay. get everybody back to good health, get some rest in. Okay. So who is going to carry... One of you will have to carry Zax Ravis's body up the ladder, so you'll have to physically carry it. Quill, you want to carry the body? No. No, <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm assuming Ayla or Sentry will be doing it, but I'm just yeah, checking who, yeah. which yeah. of you. Won't be me. Oh, well, I can carry shouldn't... Yep, Sentry. Should we be looking for <laughs> schematics? Uh, just, uh, yes. Just like wiping my nose on like everything. <laughs> just on my sleeve. Your scarf. It's yeah. Like, yeah, on my scarf. Like, shouldn't we be finding the schematics or something? Oh, the Thalia can have the ship. We did it, guys! We did it! We, we Thank did you it. So we much. did it. Thank did you it. so much. I couldn't have done this without you. Oh. We did it! Just no, no more jumping. No more, no more falling past me again, please. That was terrifying. <laughs> My knees really hurt. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> depressed. <laughs> I think I need a Scared bath. <laughs> also, we couldn't have done where your whatever you did to him. The shift, he vanished, and then he was back, and then he didn't do whatever he was oh. going to do. Oh, that was just temporal. That's fine. That's... Wait, I don't that think was I can you? do it again, though. I thought that was... Yeah. I oh. I think um, when we had the thing with the rift and the thing, and it, it did something really weird to me, um, but I didn't... I don't know. I, I just... But it just happened, but I don't know if I can do it again, so don't expect that again. Wait, oh. you have... Uh, uh, this is a conversation for another time. Let's find the schematics. Mm. Yes. If there so are any here. You, yeah, you, so you guys are making your way back up the tunnel into the main ship that you that he was in that they were in before. So you go back up to the silvery ship, yeah. Yeah. 
I guess we could cursory yeah. glance this little skip as well, just to see if yeah. there was, you, you said there was to? nothing about yeah. it, right? You can make an investigation check if you want to search more thoroughly. Like, I'm just describing what you see uh, when you go on around. Like, there oh, could be I stuff okay. hidden in here. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to give you every piece of information on a glance, but if you want to check more thoroughly, you can make an investigation. So, can I... Can I... I'm out of spell slots, right? So I can't do comprehend language as a ritual. Uh, can you can. It takes ten minutes, but you can do it. Yeah. Ten minutes. Yeah. yeah. So, so ritual, ritual means to... you can't... Uh, huh? yeah. Oh yeah. So if 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 uh, the group want to sp- take ten minutes, I can. I can understand any written language that I see, but I must be touching the surface on which the words are written. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can spend ten minutes doing that, and like you know, Quill, do you want to search around while the others carry Zach's upstairs, or? Sure, I'll have a little look around the skiff just to see if there's anything worthwhile. Sure. So an investigation check. Investigation check. Sixteen. 16, uh, you search around. Uh, there appears to be... The only thing you find is a small compartment in the cockpit which contains a uh, pristine velvet bag that jingles with coins. Um, looking inside, it appears to be not Eroes minted coins, obviously, but these appear to have demonic <laughs> faces, devilish faces uh, upon them, but they are gold and platinum coins. Uh, you find oh, a total of 60 platinum coins and oh. uh, about 180 gold coins. Damn. I guess I don't know the value of it. Well, Quill doesn't know the value of these specific coins, but it seems like a lot. They look very... I mean, they look very similar to the coins on Eroes, the same kind of gold and platinum coins. Like, they're the same size, the same weight. So on Eroes, they would, if in theory, be worth the same. You know, coins are worth yeah. what they're made of, effectively. So Yeah, yeah. That's a lot, then. A platinum is 100 gold. Yeah, 60 platinum. Yeah. So six, 60 platinum is 600 gold, and then 100, 180 gold coins. So about 780 gold in total. Good. That's good. You uh, so yeah, you you velvet bag bag like, yeah, the velvet bag is probably, worth, it's probably worth like a gold or something like that. But the um, it looks like, like this is like a little gold. stash of... Yeah, sure. Uh, it's not. Uh, um, it just oh. looks like this was like maybe a little stash of like getaway money. This would be enough to like, mm. you know get them sorted on some sort of infernal planet and wait until they can get something else. But yeah, um, with okay. that cursory glance, you guys make your way back up into the main ship, and there you don't have any time pressure, no other monsters appear, so you are free to investigate and do what you want. You just need to tell me <laughs> what you want to do. Um, well, can I just read anything with the Comprehend languages? Um, can I, I guess, yeah, like, so read, you, you try and find... Go, in, go into the cockpit and start reading through the ship and stuff like that, and looking at, like, the, you know, whatever you can find. Um, okay. So Nova's doing that. I guess... Anybody else? Anything? I'd, I'd be specifically looking, looking for the schematics, I think. Yeah, yeah, maybe. yeah. I figured. I figured you would. Same. I'm just going to investigate, but without that ability. Okay. Anything from anyone else? Yeah. Just just searching. It's a big ship, so just helping to search. Yeah, yeah. Around okay. for anything so interesting or valuable. Then... Sure. Okay. Right. Can In that case... Can someone keep um, an eye on... Sucks. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> what are you Zax. doing? What are you doing? Okay, yeah. So, Sentry, you, you keep a, a firm eye on Zach's Ravis. Um, okay. So, the first hour. We'll go over the first hour. Um, Nova, searching through. You make your way into the cockpit and now being able to understand, as long as you touch the crystal surface of the kind of readout, um, yeah, you can understand that this is this ship is called the Mirror Sweeper. Um, it is one of Zach's, Zach's Ravis's personal ships. Um, there is a lot of information here. Um, first of all, this ship is very different to the Twin Star Longbow Thalia ship. If you want to learn to fly this ship, it's going to take significant amount of time. Um, you're going <laughs> to have to relearn how the ship functions because it's completely alien. It, it works in a very different way. But you could do it. Um, it's probably worth a fair bit of money um, or its parts could be salvaged or something. Um, but more importantly, to your benefit, is not only do you find the schematics for the Tassadar, you find schematics for several other Valkyrian ships. None as impressive as the Tassadar. Mostly small frigates, um, patrol craft. Um, You find technical readouts, um, armory loadouts. You also find a lot of other information. Some of it is not password protected, but you have to kind of understand Abyssal and Infernal um, 
it takes you some time, but because you understand Magitek, I'm not going to make you make a roll because with an unlimited time, you can break through it easily. But yeah, you find there's quite a lot of information here that could be useful. You find um, not only the schematics for several ships, you find details about outposts, guard rotations, supply stations, and patrol routes, all used by the Valkyrian Empire. You also find information about resistance cells that are on different planets, a record of debts owed by various smugglers as well as data files on them, and ongoing deals with various gangsters and fiends uh, across the multiverse. Um, this all information, some of it you're not sure how to use, you're not sure how it would be useful or relevant to you, but somebody would want this, it's probably quite valuable. Mm. Um, things like the information about the Valkyrian Empire, if given to a group like the Wings of Ishtar, would greatly increase their chances of disrupting those forces and give you an edge um in nice. guerrilla tactics you know to against mm. something for for a planet like erois not that useful because it concerns planets far far away but to a resistance group this would be invaluable uh this would be extremely extremely yeah. valuable to them is um, there um uh two things is there any just as a little nugget is there any mention of like a ganassi resistance group or anything like that like I think I think that there is um, there is a mention. There's no specifics, but there is a small resistance group on Ganes. Um, they are they seem to be people that are dissidents, young rebels who are kind of fighting against uh, tyranny um, or perceived tyranny at least. Um, there is also some sort of connection that there is a sympathy for um, the Jasavir uh, refugees. They call them. Um, who are, cool. you would also find that they are incarcerated on the pl prison planet of uh, Ciceri, I think it's, it's pronounced. Um, but the Jasavir elves pardon. are all imprisoned, yes. Yeah, you find that there is a list of uh, kind of references to, <laughs> yeah, the prison planet, have I got it written down? Yeah, Carceri is the name of the of the prison planet. And yeah, wow. the uh, Jasavir elves are were in prison there and there's you know there's talk about you know like oh is it about is, is it worth us trying to break them out do we think that like zax ravis has kind of notes about like hmm is there is there a potential business thing here could i offer to like bust some of them out or get them off of the planet uh what could they offer would they have information about the lost planet quite do, you know there's kind of like you know beginnings of a hmm, is there anything that i can use to my advantage here um but it didn't look like this investigation got very far um, but that's what you find. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. you have the schematics. You can download those to your crystal pad. You can copy all of this to your own um, crystal data pad uh, as you do. Those of you who are searching for more valuables and other information, um, you find quite a lot of goods and supplies. A lot of it you don't think you can really trade in. Trade in. There's things like food. Um, there's sculptures of Zax Ravis themselves stored in like little side rooms and things like that. Um, you don't imagine that they have too much value. The things of value you do find, you find a beautiful white wood lute that is carved in an elven fey fashion. Um, it has engravings of nature themes of winter um, uh, and is very, very beautiful. Worth, probably is worth about 35 gold. Uh, you find several books. One is a bestiary of astral beasts. It's worth 25 gold. You find a book of religious scriptures and prayers of some figure called the Huntress, which is also worth 25 gold. You find a book chronicling the lineage of a minor noble family from Lunaria, also worth 25 gold. You find two bolts of a very fine um, infernal silk worth 100 gold uh, together. And two deep blue spinel gemstones worth 500 gold each. Whoa. So specific. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. almost like Zax Ravis has the results of a random treasure generator on his ship. That's so weird. Um, Do you have that like, family you know, somewhere? Uh, mm. Yeah, I can I can repeat that like afterwards, but Thanks. that's basically what you find. It's a bunch of like, and it looks like they're like little collectibles, little you know, they're they're sequestered in like little display cabinets or hung up on the wall nicely. The loot is is hung up above a bed. Display um, pieces, the gemstones yeah. are you pry them out of a statue of Zax Ravis where they've clearly put them instead of their own eyes and you pry them out uh, with a knife uh, yeah they're valuable take those like, probably Ayla does that it's just like ooh gems yoink ooh, <laughs> <it's candy. laughs> pluck those out of the statue um, yeah 
And that's what you find. After an hour, sentry, mm. make a... Hello. I don't even think that you would need to make a perception check. You notice Zax Ravis trying to subtly move. Um, trying to avoid attention. Okay. Can can I try and just grapple him and hold him in place? Yeah, well, he can't. They they can't really move. Their hands are tied behind their back. Okay. They they have a blindfold over their eyes. Their legs are bound. Like Ayla's proper like hog tied this this figure, this alien. Um. But they they they're clearly trying to pretend that they're still unconscious, but they're kind of shifting their body around, maybe trying to get uh, like right. their hands free and stuff like that. Um. What do you do? Hmm. Can I just, hmm. can I just like hold his arms, like hold him up, like like try and like just stop him from doing that, <laughs> like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you kind of reach down and grab the the hands, uh, these elongated greenish fingers, uh, and you feel them just go limp. Like. Oh. I see what you're doing, Zach. Body... <laughs> ah. You hear a voice in your head. I am not particularly good at. Physical performances. Uh, Maybe it's best you just stay still for now. I am not dead, I notice. Is this your doing, Guardian? Did you prevent them from killing Zax Ravis? I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Yeah. There is no is harm you... in talking I'm not gonna with me. There is no harm in speaking with me, surely. I am your prisoner. Nope. Sentry's gonna be firm and stern and not say anything. There is, <laughs> for the first time, there is a physical noise. Uh, Zach Travis doesn't have a mouth, but you you hear this kind of exhaling of oxygen, like a from unseen glands somewhere. Or and a voice in your mind, uh, a voice in your mind, just says, "Can I at least be assured that you do not have any intents to kill me? Am I to be left alive?" I have information. I can be valuable to you if I am if I am not killed. Zax Ravis would hate to be destroyed. It is an uncomfortable process to be demoted. As a decision for the for all of us to make together. Please inform your companions that I can try and make it worth their while. Zax Ravis has much many secrets to offer i am a useful ally i will not forgive your mer i will not forget your mercy <laughs> since you're doing a thing or are you just like nope not talking to you now <laughs> <laughs> yeah I've, I've let him say his piece she's okay yeah she's not gonna say anything back she just go silent. okay so yeah. you you kind of all meet up after an hour uh with your various findings what do you guys want to do can we um, call Talia in this time, or like? I don't know. Can you? So, I, can... I don't know. Can Go I? Go um... and attempt a message, but she has to be Could quite I close. And... I think it's either. Yeah. Would I have ascertained enough from reading the cockpit to be able to send the Twin Star a message? Um, like a ship to ship message. Yes, I think that that is probably the easiest system to decipher is to figure out how to like broadcast or like or basically open up like a like a a magical sensor that allows you to broadcast you know audio out um to any receiving the comp channel. astral ships yeah but make yeah. it sound more magic um it sounds more magic <laughs> than sci-fi it's a magic crystals that let you do stuff um yeah you can do that and you hear like a you hear a nova my dear my is that you have have you what has happened? Are you? Is this from Zach's ship? I, I, I can't find it. I'm, I'm searching all over, but they must oh, have uh, some sort of camouflage. Oh, uh, but what do you think that would look like on a, on a ship? I, I'm trying to work out the cockpit now. Uh, what kind oh, of my, command my would that look like? Uh, sweetheart, I'm not honestly sure. I, it, their ship is very different to mine. Um, oh. how about I just land back where we were? Would is that? Do I have to travel far uh, to reach you, or...? Uh, 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 well, you, you just need to go through the mines, but there are things in there, little crystal chickens and things hanging from the things. It's quite dangerous. Uh, if I... Uh, and can you lock onto my signal? I don't know. What can I do? Because I think you need to come here, because there's can things you, and a ship. Can you and... find... All right, calm down. Calm down. Can you find the weapon control? 
Yes. All right. Give me a few moments and then fire the weapons. And if they pass through some sort of illusionary camouflage, I will see where they emerge from. Okay. Um, uh, firing weapons in three, well, make a, two, make an arcana check. For one. Them. The 100. <laughs> it hits them dead on. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yeah, you, it takes you a few moments, but you think you managed to find at least something that looks like a weapon. Um, and yeah, you fire. There is a shudder throughout the whole ship, a ripple, um, as a beam of silvery light fires out from a cannon. Um, and after a few moments, you see the tip of the twin star longbow poke through the illusory asteroid covering that hides the ship um, as mm. Thalia very gingerly tests what is real and what is not as she kind of like dips dips a wing in like, oh, nope, that feels real. Nope, that feels real. Nope. Oh, here we go. We're <laughs> passing through. Um, she, she brings the twin star to hover above Zax's ship. Um, mm. Fires out the uh, anchoring cables yeah. <laughs> and locks it in place. Don't worry, Ava, that was me. Something? I'll shout back to everyone. <laughs> I'll just okay. shout to everyone. Don't worry, that that was me. I was just, I was just helping Thalia find us. Don't worry, that was fine. That was meant oh, to do good. that. Hey. I meant to do that. I really meant to do that. Perfect. Is she coming uh, here? I mean, yeah. you all, if yeah, you all feel the thrum of the engines as the twin star looms, like <laughs> positions itself above uh, Zax's ship. Ah, oh. hey. Okay. Well, she'll know what to do with Zax Ravos, at least. Uh, yeah, if you guys hopefully. just wait. If, if there's anything you, uh, if there's nothing else you want to do, then after a bit of time, Thalia will emerge, and we can just go from there. But just like, yeah. if, if there's anything you guys want to do, say now. Uh, Don't think so. I guess really, just I think. Keep trying to smush Tiangong back together. But I, I, was, I guess it's I gonna, to you know it. it well, it's I'm an hour. Sleep. You have to spend an hour to attune to it. It's a meditative process. Okay. You need to focus your energy and focus on your pact to bond the pieces together. So you can do it in an hour, okay. but yeah, Thalia will turn up before then. So it doesn't take long, but yeah, the open side door of the Twin Star Longbow opens and the Medusa uh, Thalia Whisperwind appears. Uh, her blouse, bro not blowing because there's no breeze, but she basically lowers herself down on some sort of small uh, extendable rope ladder um, and makes her way into Zax Ravis's ship, where she kind of like, oh, yes, quite the fancy little ship he's got himself here, themselves here. Hello. You seem to have subdued him, I suppose. Uh, sub subdued mm -hmm. them. I'm sorry that I, I wasn't much help. I, I, whatever illusory system they have protecting this, this extra hangar, I couldn't locate it. Um, but you seem to have done well without me. Thank you. Oh, uh, well, there's also a uh, an escape skiff thing down there as well. Oh, um, no, that is. That was how he was going to get away. Didn't, didn't work though. Luckily, <laughs> you're lucky to have caught him. Although, if Zax Ravis had managed to escape, I would have noticed them from the outside. I suspect that Zax didn't expect me to be lingering around, uh, waiting for them to escape. No, but, but still, he is still alive. Ah, well. What? Are you going to kill him? Do you want what? What do you want to do? Oh, uh, I, I was hoping to ask you. We won't even pretend to know the first thing about astral politics. I don't know what killing him would do. My dear sweet Birdman, you are, and perhaps this is the, the byproduct of where you're from. There's no. We are in. We are in outlaw space, astral space out here. This is not. We are not part of the Valkyrian Empire. There are no laws governing this. If you are afraid that Zaxravis will betray you or come after you, I suggest you kill him now. Or you kill them now. They are a criminal. They are a scoundrel. They have their uses, but, well, we don't forget those who cause us problems. Let's put it that way. On the other hand, Zax likely has lots of valuable information and... You never know. Maybe if you let Zax Ravis go this time, they'll be more forgiving if they ever do cross your path again. This is really your decision. I'm afraid that this, I leave this to you. There are no laws or uh, moral quandaries. I certainly am not going to pretend to take the moral high ground on this. This is, you defeated Zax Ravis. 
they intended to betray you to the Valkyrian Empire. As far as I'm aware, this is your decision. Uh, of well, course, if you kill a person, the would they not, uh, given the power they claim to have had um, and the amount of sway they have in astral space, would there not be people that want him alive and would go after people that would kill him or them? Yes, of course, my dear boy Lucius. But also there will be those that will be ecstatic at the possibility to fulfill Zax's base. I am no doubt that he has many, they have many lieutenants that will be, well, just simply overjoyed at the opportunity to take over Zax's empire. They'll be, uh, you've done them a favor. But yes, of course, there'll be those loyal to Zax Ravis who will be upset, who will come after you. This is the risk of such a maneuver. But if you leave Zax Ravis alive, I can't promise you that they won't come after you seeking revenge themselves. This is the way of it, out here. They might come for Tiangong. Possibly. I've never known Zax Ravis to care about the Eternal before. I suspect that the, the Fiend simply saw something rare and collectible. I don't know if they have the same attachment to it that you do, my dear. Well, I, He's got information. One. Yes, and also they're already defeated. I'm not one to deal in killing blow when they're already at our mercy. That doesn't feel I don't right. Particularly... Keep in mind that the Twin Star has no facilities to keep a prisoner. And Zax Ravis, being a fiend, has spells and abilities that he can make, that they can make use of. If you want my opinion, I would simply... We can't do much with this ship. Uh, we don't have the time to learn how to fly it, and I have no ability to tow it. Disable the ship. Let's destroy its engines, deplete its fuel, and leave him here. He'll have... They'll have some people that will find him in a few days, and we'll be long gone by then. That would be how I... Good idea. But, well, it's your I'm decision, okay not that. mine. Let's get the information, then. If he has they did anything say they have a lot anyway. of it. They did? Mm. Certainly. Uh, I me. suggest plunder as much as you can. Supplies, treasures, uh, all of that sort of thing. Um, I mean, I see that you've acquired your uh, your Eterna, Nova, my dear. But have any of you, do any of you have the ability to check if Zax has any other magical relics on them? The ability to detect I... magic? Yes. <laughs> I need to say it so strong, Nadia. <laughs> uh, simply asking. Yeah, it's not I'll... an ability I have, I'm afraid. I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll start ritual casting to take magic. I was going to do it earlier, but I figured that he would just glow. He is essentially just magic, this dude. Um, um, it, yeah, well, in the same way that... In the same way that any devil or demon is magic, yes, or any angel is, yeah, it doesn't mean that they register on a detect magic spell. But yeah, you, you cast the spell after about 10 minutes, you see that the only other magical thing that Zax Ravis seems to carry on him is a ring, which glows a potent um, transmutative. Oh, I thought that was already taken off him. Okay, yeah, in that case, I'll aim, aim to get the ring off him, because you sure, yeah. can probably use that to cast spells. Yeah, you'll need to identify it if you want to find out what it is, but... Yeah, you can take the ring. You have a magic ring. I'll ritual cast. Identify while they're interrogating sure. him. Sure. Uh, it is a <laughs> ring of free action. Or freedom of movement, I believe it's called. Oh. You need to check. That son of a biscuit. Oh my god. That sounds powerful to me. <laughs> ring of free action. Um, so you identify it. While you wear this ring, difficult terrain doesn't cost you extra movement. In addition, magic can neither reduce your speed nor cause you to be paralyzed or restrained. Hmm. Uh, Ava. So that that restrained terrain. Hmm. Yeah. Ava. Wait, wouldn't the uh, tomb thing be a byproduct of that? No, because I kind of ruled that as like he was like completely frozen by ice. Like it probably hmm. would have been, but. I'm going to say no. Don't take it's, it's, the same way that, it's the same way that, in theory, ropes shouldn't stop Zax Ravis from being able to do stuff, but it, I'm going to say that he did. So that, that it, I think it was a little bit more yeah. than paralyzing it's, or restraining the way I see him, it, though. It's also, yeah, for me, it's it's this is against magic effects. Like, if somebody ties your hands together, a magic ring isn't going to stop that from keeping you in place. But if somebody tries mm. to hold person you or cast mm. a spell that's going to restrain you, then I'd say the magic prevents that, basically. 
Um, and Tomb okay. of Levistus, yeah, I count as a different thing because it has additional effects in a, in, a, in addition mm. to being restrained. It's literally yeah. you are frozen in a block of ice and can't do anything. Uh, and you yeah. get 100 HP. Yeah, and it's okay. at the end well, of the day, I, I it was cool. like, Yeah, I spent like 20 minutes doing all of those things, so uh, that gives oh. people time to do whatever they were going to do with them. Yeah, um, sure. if people are going to interrogate Zax, um, I'm going to... Can I start... Can I just find a quiet corner and start not a tuning. A tuning. Yeah, because sure. right. uh, yeah. Well, I don't want to waste that time. That means we <laughs> we throw it over to Sentry Ayla and Lucius, who I believe have now been designated as interrogation squad. <laughs> uh, like, um, squad. Yeah. All right. Uh, you have a bound uh, bound ultraloth, um, sensing more people around them. Ah, am I to is Zax Ravis to be? understanding that you have come to a decision i do you intend to kill me or do you intend to ask me questions are you going to leave me alive what is your methodology what are you expecting now you you looky here uh i could but i am currently blindfolded my good fellow yes perhaps you could be kind Perfect. enough to remove it so i can see no uh you are on the the back foot of this uh, situation, so be fearful. Sentry, you take over again. Um, <laughs> what, what do we want to know? <laughs> okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal. We could kill you, or you could, you could be useful to us. I could, yes. Uh, Zax Ravis must inform you that killing me here will not permanently end Zax Ravis's existence. I will simply reform on my own planet. Uh, I will be diminished in power, which is a frustration. A frustration Zax Ravis would like to avoid. So, yes, I am willing to bargain. I, am, I will give you information if you seek it. Uh, what do you want to know? I, I have no loyalty to anyone. My loyalty is to myself. This is Zax Ravis cares for Zax Ravis. You ask a question, I will answer it. Mm. You already have access to my treasures. I cannot stop you taking those, but to help yourself to them. You're welcome to. Uh, you have bested me. What, what? This this is only fair. Quill. 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 What do we what do we know? What do like, we want to know? What do we want to know? Meditating. Anything about Valkyrian? Yeah. Anything about why they were searching for Aroas? Why I don't know. Will he chase after us and kill us the moment we leave? Things like that. This is why we need Quill. I'm busy ritual casting. <laughs> he is. Let's just zoink him back. Just, come it. Well, you can't help for 20 minutes. Quill Quill has given you all the help that I will let him give you. Um, so what do you guys want to know? Super trio. Look, we didn't... We didn't... We didn't... No, there was an interrogation to happen. We just got told that we were interrogating someone. I have no idea uh, what the plan is here. No, I'm not saying that uh, to him. No, this no. is me. Oh, okay. This, this is me as, <laughs> as Casey saying, look, there was no plan here. I have no clue what we're doing. Um, oh, I was, I was hoping that Ayla was saying that. No, no, no. Ayla would not say that. Looky well. here, uh, you. Okay, <laughs> so what we have here is... A lot of information. Nova has taken that from you, okay? Because that's all the information you had. Which means the Resistance is going to win against the Valkyrian Empire. So, you may as well tell us. I, I hope that I have many uh, wonderful business interactions with these Resistances. I have, yeah. I have sold weapons and all sorts to their kind before. Good. Who was the one to Told give you. you the bounty on us? Oh, my dear, it's, it's plastered uh, across many nefarious locations throughout uh, Valkyrian-controlled space. Your, your little faces and your, your names, the, the uh, travelers from the Lost World, um, yes, you have uh, quite the, the rap sheet, I believe they refer to it. Uh, Elysium it originated from. I believe that you are currently wanted for, well, crimes against the Empire, a very vague and generic offense, which is often levied uh, without much detail. I, myself, am also uh, have been known to have that offence, although not currently. Uh, 
it is posted. You will struggle. If you travel to any civilized world, people will be looking for you. Bounty hunters, uh, criminals, like such as myself, such as Zax Ravis. You are worth a, a considerable sum of credits to the, to the Empire. Quite honestly, that's just flattering, but we just want to know if there's anyone else specifically that you know of that's on our tail at the moment. Specifics? Now, that is difficult. I, uh, I am sure that there are many. I, I could not name any individuals. I keep a track of the competition, but not their current activities. Many bounty now, hunters. You've met Sentry, and you've met the edge of her blades, have you not? And doing so would return you to your plane of existence to be a real, real bother to you, right? It would be a bother, yes. Not a, a dreadful one, but a bother. Now, we could just leave you here alive at our mercy in return that you use everything in your power and your network to prevent anyone you know coming after us. You are very trusting. Once you are, once you have left me alone to this place, I am under no obligation to do as you ask, of course. What, what, why, if there is a benefit to me, of course, I would be more than willing to help in your escapades. Uh, no, what so... you're going to do right now, okay, is Sentry's going to guide you to the cockpit, and you're going to send out a message in front of us stating that you have captured us and that the bounty is off. Ah. Make a persuasion check for me, Lucius. Let's just see, uh, let's see kind of what influence you have. Let's see how... Ding dong, 25. 25. That is... <laughs> Zax Ravis finds this Pink. agreeable. Providing you leave Zax Ravis alive with some food long enough for my companions to locate. Astral food? I'd... Do we have that? <laughs> there is some on my... Just don't take some from my ship. Right. You need to divert attention away, not draw attention to us. Doing so, Sentry, I'm sure, will be very quick to return you to your plane of existence. I am most certain. Uh, I, will, I will create a diversion. At best, I can. Excellent. And then I'm sure Ayla can make sure you can't leave this this little planet, this little asteroid. Fine. Fine. Zax Ravis agrees. Zax Ravis will do as you ask. Wonderful. Uh, I will need my hands to send the message. They are currently tied behind my back. You can have those when you get to the cockpit. Fine. Oh, we Fine. can push the buttons for you as well. Don't worry. Ah, uh, it will take significant time. My consoles are written in languages I'm sure you do not understand. It would be faster to let me do the... Actually, Nova's pretty good with that kind of thing, so we can just wait for her. No biggie. Don't worry. Wouldn't want, us, wouldn't want you to, to go through the trouble of having to type it yourself, you know. We'll, we'll save you that. Of course. Zax Ravis is happy to wait. And you see him just slouch, uh, see them just slouch, resting their back against the, the floor. Yeah, do you guys just want to wait for Nova to finish and then basically have Zach send out this message uh, to try and buy you some extra time or, or create a diversion? Sure. Nova. Yeah. Mm. You spend an hour deeply concentrating. The pieces of Tiangong, the shards that you've gathered, split into their individual components, resting before you. As you channel the magic that you share, a symbiotic relationship, magic flowing from one to the other and vice versa. And they begin to float and lift and circle around you as in an orbit. Three pieces. The rapier, the long sword, the tri-bladed knife, the leaf, is that it? That's it, yeah. yeah. The three of them <laughs> spinning around in an orbit. Over the process of an hour, their orbits come closer and closer together, and you begin to sense a growing sentience, a growing mind, finally becoming not whole, 
but more than what it was. And eventually, they merge. The blade forming its form, like, similar to when you first found it, the form that you are most familiar with, this long sword. Uh, and now, if you search on D&D Beyond, you should be able to find a, a magic item called... I just need to bring up my handle here. I forget the exact name. Uh, it should be called Tiangong Echo of the Galaxy. Oh, <laughs> damn. Uh, and as the three pieces merge, for the first time, there isn't just emotions in Tiangong, but you feel a, a presence, you feel a sentience. A simple sentience, a simplified sentience, but a sentience nonetheless. Uh, more than just feelings, there is something there that you can speak to. Uh, and then you also, whilst you attune to it, you know that Tiangong is now a proper magic weapon. It's a plus one to attack rolls and damage rolls. Oh. So only to melee attacks, obviously, like yeah. no spell attacks. But also, once per long rest, you may cast Dimension Door as Tiangong, being a being of the stars, can uh, bridge uh, between space. Um, it can create a, a awesome. small vortex. That's yep. so cool. Oh, nice. Man. Oh, and what, I mean, what nice. do you do? You want to say anything? Do you say anything to Tiangong now that you sense this mind? There you are. How are you? Yes. yes. Uh, I guess you can't say much, right? No. And the voice, as it speaks, there are multiple different voices of different tones, genders. Not accents, but uh, sounds and reverberations that kind of merge into one voice um, as it speaks in your mind. Uh, that's okay. We can work on that. I just... Yes. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I've waited to hear your voice for so long. It's beautiful. Yes. I... I know I know I've made some missteps but I promise I promise that I'm going to I'm going to find more and 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 we'll we'll find the rest of you and and I'll free you I'll I'll, I'll put you back together I promise Yes you feel a sense it still has that emotive element you can feel a sense of contentment of uh, relief flowing from from the weapon from the the blade uh, as this yes just echoes in your mind temporarily just thank you uh, thank you so much for everything for your power and for your guidance just thank you yes That's yeah it and now. um yeah you can jiangong is a sentient weapon you can speak with them whenever you want it's telepathic but <sighs> they as you can tell they can only answer binarily they can only answer in yes and no their yeah. sentience is limited right now um was that all and you get the sense telepathic that is like conversation. Yes. Although you don't, for all you know, Tiangong may even be able to communicate with other creatures. Oh. Um, it's just for now, you're only you're only communicating with yourself. Um, yeah. Uh, after an hour or so, Quill, you finish your your rituals. Long before that, and Nova rejoins you. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm not going to make you role play out the whole thing with Zax. He's Zax Ravis is in a they're in a position where. Yeah, you're smart enough to not untie their hands. Uh, they audibly, you know, get Nova to send a message, which is in the line of, I have I have claimed this bounty, I will be traveling to, and he'll pick a location um, that is far further away. Uh, he will say, I am near Arcadia. I will, I will be bringing my bounty in for collection. I expect to be pre paid promptly. Uh, tough luck to all of you who are too slow. Uh, Zax Ravis has claimed this bounty, etc., <laughs> etc. Et um, yeah, he, he does as they do as you were you asked of them. How much is the bounty, by the way, Zax Ravos? Are you, are you asking? You ask him. Yeah. Uh, Zax Ravis. It would leave Zax Ravis very comfortable for many years. It is significant. Mm. Arcadia might just become a hive of bounty hunters for a while. 
Um, yes, I. Uh, it is not common for a figure such as myself to broadcast that I have claimed it. There may be some who do not believe my deception. This is not uh, my fault. This is not Zax Ravis's will. lack of ability. Yes. I have done as you asked. Zax Ravis has completed your request. I request only that you leave me alive. And our business is done. You have what you wanted from my ship, I understand. You have plumbed its depths for the schematics you sought and more, I am certain. Business... We've do any completed other, our business. Do any other bounty hunters know your current location? Just out of interest. Who is to say? What simple beings are we that we can determine the fate of others? Zax mm-hmm. Ravis can only know Zax Ravis's mind. Thank you for doing well, that. And now... So Toodaloo, we're off. Very well. Uh, Balia's, Balia turns to all of you. Are you sure about this? Just to be clear. Uh, well, the Yugoloths, the Ultraloths, they only care about themselves. They're not bound by agreements like devils are. And they're not as sadistic and chaotic as demons. They are self-serving. I cannot <laughs> promise that this will not... That Zach Travis will not pursue. Uh, that may be the as... case. But as far as we're concerned, and I don't want to speak for the rest of us, but... We don't concern ourselves with just ourselves. We don't want to be like that. No. It's very... That's very noble of you, Lucius. And I certainly hope that it does not... That you do not suffer because of it. Uh, That is not meant as a dismissal or a... uh, uh, Condescending tone. But a genuine hope. I unfortunately... In my past such noble ideals can sometimes lead to tragedies. I hope that well, that we is can, not the case for you. We can mitigate our suffering and tragedies by disabling his ship, giving us time to get away. Um, Most certainly. I, I, Kiri can make certain of that. I think we'd create a bigger enemy if we were to return him or return them. They'd only come back more angry and determined to end us possibly yes possibly. we've given them a mercy today I just hope that it is um, recognized that is all. well I think like we are right done choice now. here yes uh, I feel that we are done here I've already siphoned away almost all of Zach Travis's fuel into the twin star leaving us ready and prepared for the next leg of our journey I'm good to go when you are, my dears. Let's do it. Let's make most of all this time that we've given ourselves. Mm. All right. Uh, well, and she leads you back onto the Twin Star. Um, the Twin Star, one of the turrets, turns. It targets uh, the back of Zax Ravis's ship. Um, and you hear Kyrie kind of call out like, ah, c- Captain, are you, are you sure, sh- sh- sure about this? Yes, Kyrie, my dear, just aim for the location I've highlighted. Just a, a couple of blasts should do. Okay. And then you hear a <laughs> as two radiant energy blasts emerge from the turret and the back of Zax Ravish's ship is left smoldering as the twin star pulls away from the debris field and you fly back out into astral space. Um, and your journey continues. Oh, we forgot about the skiff. <laughs> Yeah, oh. it's broken. It's well, done now. Um, the door's been ripped off. It has. Yeah, it's fine. Nova, sure. were you able to reforge or merge or... I'm Quill. sorry, whatever it is you do with Tiangong. <laughs> In Quill's mind, you hear, yes. Um, Is he still talking to me? Zax? Yes. No. No. Max Ravos? No. That's Tian no. Gong. Yes. T- oh. I'm guessing. Oh, Tian Gong. It's in your head. Talk. Yeah. 
It's it's everybody within a uh, hundred feet can telepathically hear when Tiangong speaks, or it can he they can choose oh. to just communicate with just Nova. Um, oh, it is it is lovely to meet you and finally speak with you, Tiangong. Nova has put so yes. much time and work into making you whole again, and it's so exciting. We finally have reached this point, at least. Yes. What have you got to say, <laughs> Tiangong? Yes. <laughs> wow. I think I think I need maybe some more before we can have full conversations. Um, we're working on their lexicon. Don't worry about it. It's yes or no for yes. now. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. So we need to That's find incredible. a lexicon. Is that the next shard? <laughs> no. Oh, Lucius. Guys, this is amazing. Tiangong is speaking and can speak yes. to you. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so sure much, everybody. I'd be very happy. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm just going to, like, group hug. Hey, like, success. And you, Talia. And you, Kyrie. Uh, and you, maybe not, yes, Kyrie. Uh, no, no hugs for me. I am in the process of trying to fly fly the vessel. <laughs> but y- yes, well well done. Congratulations. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. Kyrie does stick her little kind of face out of the turret, like leans down, like hanging upside down like a little bat. Um, and just is like, yeah, I'm really pleased for you, Nova. And then flips back up into her little Thank you, Kyrie. gun there. <laughs> Where's the big, big cat? Thing? Comes up, pads up, uh, sniffs around Nova. Yes. Yes. And then it goes over to Quill. Big lick. Big lick on Quill. Okay. Well, thank you, Big Uh, Cat. You hear Big big Cat purring as he kind of like rubs up against Quill because you healed him. Um, Aww. Yeah. I'll give him a little ruffle his massive head. (laughs) I don't know (laughs) how big it is compared to me. It's pretty big compared to you you go near his face and you just get a row and then like a like a little little don't touch me there don't touch me <laughs> okay okay I won't. Like all right i'll oh, back up much. yeah no, i think he was the only one who's like actually at like playing and and scro- stroking yeah 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 just like row and then he kind of pods <sighs> his way over to ayla curls up around ayla's feet uh as you guys are yeah in the ship um all right. It doesn't take long. Thalia finds a breach point into the sticks and resumes the journey, heading towards the plain of Azagrat, which is home to the Argent Palace, the Pleasure Palace, where she hopes to enter uh, the game to win three wishes. Um, but it's going to take some time to reach that. Um, this is a perfect time. You guys have got three days. Is there anything you guys want to talk about? Is there anything you want to do? Um, have a long rest. I've got a couple of things that happen. <laughs> yeah. You get a long rest. Um, we absolutely get, get a long rest. Yes. Thank yeah. God. Yeah. Goodbye. Three hit points. Okay. I recharge two charges on my uh, Eye of the Storm as well. Okay. So that's that's good. Um, oh, so you gave us the cool um, max hit points, didn't you, Quill Tom? Ten. Quill Tom. Uh, yeah. Eight. Yeah, yes. Goes. Yeah. Goes. Well. Keep doing that. I- because I would have died real hard if I didn't have that. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, because it took me. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was. Um, I thought it was temporary hit points as well, but no, it's, it actually increases your max. It's way more powerful max, than I thought. Yeah. Same as um, fairy fire. I didn't realize how powerful that was. Wow. Fairy fire uh, is really. A lot of stuff. I'm learning. I'm learning how to play, guys. Brilliant. It's only taking you two. <laughs> um, I guess in the, in this time, can I go to? Well, I guess everybody, but um, I guess Quill specifically. Like, um, do, do we want to do we want to share this information with the the wings? I, I I just the stuff we took from Zax. I think it'd be really valuable to them, right? Not just the absolutely. Squatics. Yes, um, let's do that. Yeah, we how just do need we do to that? figure out how to get it to them. <laughs> um. Well, I can cast Dream and and show show them like physically show them um oh i i, I don't know okay. or i don't know if you have sending or yeah i i, I, mean, so I sending guess is i've got 25 all... words uh i could cast it over and over again until i've read out the entire schematics but uh <laughs> in binary <laughs> dream show them show them in 
person in dream? Yeah, I could show in... them my data pad and, and, and just show them like that, I think. That's wow. probably the best way. Um, we also haven't heard back from them on whether they've completed their end of the their task. So I could I could try and contact them to get an update. What did we task them with again? Costumes? Or outfits? What was it? Signets. Signets. It was the, uh, the signet codes that you need. Wait. Yeah. No, I, I specifically remember signets is what it was for. Sure. Signets. Well remembered, Lucius. <laughs> Thank you, um, Got a great memory. Yes. Me? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um... Uh, okay, so I could, yeah, I mean, I guess in that time I could try and get an update from them and just also update them and say, like, I mean, in three days I can cast enough sending spells to basically say, we've got the Tassadar schematics and more. Uh, the only question I have to you, Tom Hazel, is who are you casting sending on? Uh, the, the, the guy whose name is... Zelion. Give or take something like... Zelion. Zelion. The Sun Lord, or whatever it was. Solar. <laughs> Solar. <laughs> yeah. You can over. I'm not going to roleplay out just because, like, 25 words. But yeah, you can basically, with sending yeah. spells, you can message Zelion. You arrange for Nova to cast Dream on a member of the Resistance who is not a Celestial because they don't yeah. sleep. Um, they have an ASMR that you can cast Dream on. Um, and yeah, you share the information. Uh, Zelion. Um, basically imparts this is fantastic news we will be able to accomplish this mission our, we should succeed in on our half within a few days then we will be ready you just need to let us know when you wish to, to make the attempt the rest of this information will save countless lives and will help us really weaken the Valkyrian Empire this is you have done more than I could have imagined is the vague messages you kind of get back um awesome yeah yeah super good Big uh, very helpful he is very happy with us <laughs> yeah. we're the best um and nova yeah dream is a perfect way of basically you show them the schematics you show them the root plans and when the asmr awakens their memory is so perfect of it they can basically transcribe it and then they have their own copy you still have your copy of it uh so yeah you guys yeah massively change uh the fate of these different resistance groups and including the wings of ishtar as well um mm, uh, awesome. allowing them to succeed on their their task uh which means that in a few days time you would in theory be able to attempt valor's rescue if you wanted to or you can wait till you're back on eroes or however you want to do it um could i just a little side note could i along yeah. with the asmr could i just send a message to the resistance saying i don't know if you can but if you can get a message to the Ganassi resistance that an air Ganassi from Aroas is in astral space, I don't know how I can help. But the Azimar, who yeah. I believe was a, a young woman, uh, mm. says, ah, we can try. Um, it is difficult sometimes to reach some of the planets where the Empire is stronger and, and Ganassi is very firmly uh, connected to Gideon Prime. We will do our best, but I, I cannot make any assurances, my dear. It, it will be difficult for them to reach out to you, if nothing else. Even if they, uh, the knowledge reaches them, they may not be able to reach out themselves. But I will do what I can. Uh, Thank you. At least we can Thank do. you. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sentry, Lucius, Ayla, anything for you guys? Because I know it's there's a lot of stuff going on. Not particularly for me. No? No? I've got a ring of free action for someone. Oh, cool. Probably an Ayla or Sentry kind of thing, I reckon. I think Sentry yeah. is again maxed yeah. out on magic items, so... Yeah. Oh, okay. I got all their something. magics. Yeah. Me too. Um, in that case, Ayla, if you've got a, uh, a free slot for it, makes sense for you to um, take that. I think I've got a... Spare one... Yeah. So, I got all terrain doesn't cost you extra movement, and magic can neither reduce your speed nor cause you to be paralyzed or restrained. It's pretty powerful. Yeah, I've I've got a slot. Um, yeah. Cool. What is it called? Sorry. There you go. Uh, the ring, ring of free, of free action. action. 
There you go. Tommy's the ring of free action. Just make sure you attune to it, which takes a, a day. Uh, Sentry, anything you want to chat to anybody? Anything you want to do? Um, I think could Sentry sort of look within the matrix because with the with obviously with Tiangong being reformed, uh, mm -hmm. us making strides against the Empire, like does she feel like root in there? Like, is there anything? Oh yeah, like... absolutely. In fact, um, with the the Matrix, you know that you can you can use commune to speak with root. Um, you can ask certain questions. Um, you can have a conversation as well. But if you want to have anything specifically, if you have any questions specifically for root. You can use the commune spell on the matrix to cast it. Um, but yeah, if you just... You, you, a general sense, the guardians seem... The, the many, many hundreds, thousands of spirits of guardians within the prime matrix seem pleased. But they're also distant... They're only distantly aware of what happens in the material plane. You can feel their presence, but if you want to communicate with Root, then yeah, you need to use the commune spell directly. Um, cool. But it's charges, they reset, so you, you get them back. Um, yeah that's something you wanted to do you can ask the spell itself um just so you're aware is you can ask up to three questions that can be answered with yes no or a short cryptic phrase um and root will be able to to respond to those questions um i think she would just say um just to say to root like look look at what look at what we've done i wish you could see it tian gong's tian gong's coming back the Empire, we've made such huge strides. I wish you could see it. You get a sense of a distant connection. The spirit of Root now separated from the material world. It doesn't respond to the words, the specifics. There is a response to your own optimism. A comforting pride a sense of acknowledgement just connecting the two of you for a brief moment that's it cool, cool. um you travel for three days uh it's going to take three astral days before you reach uh azagrat uh thalia probably calls you all in just to give you a, an update on that planet before we arrive at Azagrat, there's a few things I feel I should uh, warn is perhaps too intimidating a term, but uh, something that you should be aware of, at least. Uh, Azagrat is... Uh, how to put this delicately? It is a pleasure planet. It is a place where all sorts of beings, from fiends to... Orcs to Celestials to uh, soldiers of the Valkyrian Empire go to enjoy things. All manner of carnal pleasures. There are drinks, there are drugs, there are temptations of the flesh, shall we say. It is a demonic Cannibals. world. <laughs> uh, there may very well be that may not be completely off the cards, Lucius. Uh, nothing is forbidden on Azagrat. There are very few rules or laws. Even though it is under the rule of the Valkyrian Empire, it is lax in its judgments, shall we say. Uh, demons are different to devils. Devils abide by law and contracts. Demons are chaos. They are destruction. It is only on Azagrat that they provide a, a veneer of civility. Uh, they pretend at allowing people to do what they wish. It is an interesting place. One can certainly have a very good time. One can also have a very bad time. I would advise you to be cautious whilst we are there. But if there is anything you wish to procure, if there is anything you wish to indulge yourselves in, that is a place you could do so. Um, the Argent said, Palace. Yes, Quillac? You said very few laws. Uh, out of interest, what few laws are there? Generally, the law of the strong, that if somebody does something you don't like, 
well, you take action yourselves. Generally, these the only sort of real legal protections are against uh, Gratst, who runs the planet, um, against uh, Valkyrian officers, that sort of thing. Um, generally, they will they will simply respond in force. If you were to attack Valkyrian soldiers, for example, nobody would stop them coming back after you, and they have far superior forces. Uh, murder, well, nobody will bl blink an eye. Nobody will care if they watch somebody get gutted in the street. Likewise, you are free to take narcotics and whatever you wish, wherever you wish. Theft, hmm. nobody will blink an eye if something is stolen from you. Do not expect help from any of the locals, is what I mean to say. We will Understood. be on our own. Okay. But that means that we are free to respond in kind. If someone tries to steal from you, kill them. If somebody tries to hurt you, hurt them back. These sort of things, if you understand mm -hmm. my meaning. Uh, the Argent Palace, which is where Gratzt runs everything, is the largest. It is the center of the city of Zelatar. Um, that is our destination. Uh, there will be a little bit more civility there. I, I su suspect random fights will not occur within the Argent Palace. But do not expect it to be fair, either. Um, Lucius, be careful with any coinage that you carry. I imagine that... <laughs> um, a gentleman of your persuasion and looks will be prized uh, by some of the people that visit this place. The cannibals. I don't <laughs> carry maybe, coin maybe anyway. Some. Uh, ah, I've lost well. coin a long, long time ago, and it's in the safe hands of Nova. <laughs> Just Hi. expect that people, others may suspect you of carrying money. You may become the victim. Dress the way that you are. You are dressed very nobly. Watch this, and I'm going to use my glamour weave to uh, change the pattern into a drab brown. Ah, that is a very useful trick, uh, and I suggest that you use it on Azagrat. Um, I can't. Maybe some circumstances. I change back I to bright going, purple. I was going to ask there how long be... did you keep it up? That whole time I was like there... tense in the face. So... <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it there... anymore. <laughs> There may be circumstances where being dressed well will be to our benefit in the Argent Palace specifically, but the streets will be dangerous. Um, right. That is all. I just wish to give you an update of what to expect. It is a planet of demons, after all. Um, Wonderful. If, yes. Um, if Bim were here, they likely would have had more information. But sadly, that's not the Poor Bim. Rest, relax, regain your energy. And we will be there soon. And she goes back to the cockpit. Um, over the three days, um, a couple of little, just little social things really happen. Um, Kyrie attempts to cook a big meal for everybody uh, and is very excited and spreads a very nervous kind of like, um, I'm going to, I was thinking maybe I will cook a big dinner for everyone to celebrate everything, but it's okay if you don't want to come. It's probably going to not be very good. Uh, and she, she kind of gets flustered, um, but prepares a meal uh, that everyone is welcome to. Uh, it is mainly roasted vegetables and it most of it is burnt. Uh, the bread <laughs> is too hard. Uh, the vegetables are blackened. Um, there is some sort of space meat, uh, astral meat that you don't know what it is, that is far too tough. Um, but she puts a lot of effort in. She has like a little apron that she wears and, and you know, tries to set a little table and uh, makes a lot of effort uh, to it. Um, Thalia, during the, the meal, pulls out a very beautiful bottle that appears to be made of lattice. It doesn't appear to have anything inside it, um, but it is made of beautiful lattice. And when she opens it, a invisibly clear liquid, um, you can hear it being poured into glasses. Um, and Thalia says, this is... I've been saving this for some time. This is Lunaria. Uh, it is uh, the, the drink that is from my home world. Um, it is... You cannot see it without moonlight. And sadly here, uh, there is no such moonlight. But I can assure you it is in the glass. And it is most delectable. Uh, please enjoy it. She Thank you. I mean, I think out for everybody. Right, right the meal, it's also that kind of like... Mmm, delicious, Kyrie. Mmm, -hmm. <laughs> of just anything that's too tough to eat. Just trying to be nice about it. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll, she's I'll, just like, I'll try yeah, some, really? You know, yeah. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, Kyrie is very flattered and doesn't really sense that you're being insincere and, and gets very embarrassed hiding her face, but yeah, she seems to be very, very pleased. Yeah, the wine tastes delicious. It is probably, for all of you, the most incredible thing you have ever tasted. It tastes not like fruit or any beverage you've had. It tastes like you imagine Starlight would taste. Mm -hmm. um, it's It kind of lingers oh on your tongue it sends it, it alleviates your senses it has a a moment of of intense pressure on your mouth but then it becomes soft and delicate throughout your body um but the small bottle of it is only enough for a small glass each uh, but thalia kind of lifts it to an excellent business venture and to those lost along the way and then she necks the whole thing in one go nice I think um, as soon as Nova takes a sip, she's going to go, like, just purple on her cheeks. <laughs> you know, like, how I get the Asian flush when I drink? Like, you know, how I just go bright <laughs> red? So, like, well, actually, I haven't drunk for a long time, but, you're like, yeah, like that. And immediately drunk and then asleep. Okay. <laughs> so, Nova very quickly passes out. Um... <laughs> Yeah, Kyrie probably isn't very far behind Nova in that she kind of gets through a glass uh, and gets very blurry eyed and it's like, I'm really glad that we met and she starts mumbling to herself and then kind of sleepily makes her way back to a nest. Mm, okay. And then climbs up and <laughs> passes out into her little nest, leaving the, the grown ups uh, left uh, um, to uh, enjoy. Oh, three year old Quill. A grown up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, uh, like 10 year old century. <laughs> well, years does not equate to uh, adulthood. You guys are very much adults, mm. and century has lived longer than, than most. Um, yeah. Or been around longer than most. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a, a pleasant evening. There are no attacks, there are no disasters. Woo! Um, and for a few <laughs> days. Nothing yeah. passes. Um, I drunk Dyer thing... Mariah. <laughs> sure, if you want to start drunk sending, you can start drunk sending people if you want. Oh my god, I, yes! I want to, I want to drunk send Callis Starbane. <laughs> hey, <laughs> fuck you, dude. Hey, by the way, you're dead. You suck. And you're a loser. No, I don't do We've that. Got, oh, the data. <laughs> Your hair looks bad. <laughs> yeah, do you... Get do you... <laughs> Do you drunk send anybody, or? <laughs> uh, I mean, no, I don't. I don't drunk send Araya. I just wanted an update from her, just like, hey, by the way, sure. I know we're still out here, but we are. Uh, um, uh, it's not been very long since your last message, Quillek. Uh, I don't know if time is passing differently for you. Everything is fine. Just hanging around. <laughs> Okay, I was just making sure, you know, that she's not been attacked by Dragonborn or anything like that. No, it doesn't seem to be. From the impression you get, yeah, it's not been very long at all. Um, it's been totally chill. I see you, Chris Trot. Cool. I see you. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, and with that, that is where we will we will end today's episode. And next week, we will start with you guys arriving at Azagrat, the pleasure planet of oh, man. Oh, man, I'm so scared. Nothing going to happen at all. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Everything's going to be fine. We're going to screw up. Azagrat, isn't that great? <laughs> oh, man. I've got to try and do a deal with a devil fine. and get three weeks. No, it's not a deal. No, you're not doing a deal wow. with a devil. You're about to You're about to play a game with a demon prince is what you're going to do. You, oh, you on a pleasure planet. Is going, yeah, Thalia is challenging the demon prince Gratz to a game of some form some form that she oh, doesn't know the the format of that nobody knows the format of that's oh, the plan God. to secure yourself some wishes uh all right well we'll see how that goes yeah, well, yeah. yeah. We'll three wishes goes. well two for us but wishes <sighs> what an episode so with that amazing uh, what? yeah an episode anything to very we need to end on yog's cast but then we can quickly read out so try is there anything we just need to like any donos or subs that we want to shout out for yog's cast and then we'll yes. continue on high rollers to read out the other donations and have a quick chat. There's a couple here. Can we do some XP? Ace of... Sorry. Uh, yeah. Well, we've not done XP for a while because I, there's a, like, obviously with us playing remotely, 
I didn't want us to get too high level too quickly. Um, but yes, I'm. I was going to give you guys a level up at the end of this. Just not do XP. Just a, a level a straight, up. straight, straight, a straight level. What? So, just give yourselves what, really? as much XP. Just give yourselves as much XP as it would take you to level up. Yes. Oh, I get a like, hard oh boy. spell slot, y'all. I can do eighteen thousand. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, is we've missed out on doing XP for like over a month, which means all of the combat encounters, I all of the social it. XP. Yeah. Like, I'm just gonna go give you because I'm not tracking XP whilst we're doing remote play because I want to yeah. control the pacing a bit more. So you yeah. guys have just accomplished mm -hmm. a big task. You've got a shard of Tiangong. You've got the schematics for the Tassadar. You've overcome a powerful enemy. You've maybe made a powerful enemy at the same time. Um, yeah. You've accomplished quite a you know a lot since like you arrived in in astral space. I'm going to give you a level up, and then we'll just take it from there. So we're kind of doing milestone level leveling right. Now. Yeah. Level 11, my oh dude. Oh my god. Three spell slots. Done it. What am I going to do with a third slot? I'm just going to be like, man. No. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> but I will say, again, we're not going to be tracking XP, so your next level up yeah. might not be for quite some time. So that's why I'm going to give it to you now. Yeah, that's fair. That's understood. Cool. Awesome. Right. Thank you. Trot, read anything. Yes, read anything. Ace of Thorns, thank you for your donation. Those skin of the teeth plays. Sheer insanity from Nova and the payoff. Wee! Hugs, love it. Thank Dude. you very much. Much appreciated. One second. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Zephyr, <laughs> oh, nice. for donating. <laughs> hey, guys. Long time watcher, first time donor. Absolutely loved today's episode. Everyone was amazing. Uh, could I borrow your content, that Mad Cat style, to do some highlight clips or best of star videos on YouTube? I usually stick to meme edits on HR Reddit. I mean, I don't have a problem with it as long as it's not monetized. I guess. I guess that that's the kind of yeah. General, that's the only clause, don't really. It. Obviously, that yeah. Madcat is part of Yogg's cast, and uh, people that have their videos used, uh, that's part of the network. So, yeah, just yeah. please don't monetize it. Do a fan edit all you want. Yeah, but yeah, mm. if it's funny, definitely let us know about it as well. Cool. Definitely make it funny. Yeah. 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 Totes, and that's I don't it. Know how. So there we go. Cool. All right. Well, we're going to end on Yogg's cast, and then we'll just read out the High Rollers D&D donations if there's any left, um, and that's it, pretty much. So thanks very much, everybody on Yogg's cast. Uh, High Rollers Indeed. channel will stick around for a bit longer. Um, see you soon. Yeah. Bye! Bye, all y'all. Not for you, High Rollers D&D. We're sticking around on you for a second. Of course. Yeah, stay where um, you are. Stay, where you stay are. right there. Stay put. Yeah. Don't cool. you go anywhere. Right, Tommy Boy. Don't you put. Tommy Boy. Yes. Tommy Boy, that's me. Um, let me just scroll down to where we are in Donations on the, the High Rollers channel. Uh, me and my little brother Thomas, that was the last one. Yes, okay. Raging Rhino, 101010101. And nice. today is the day High Rollers get their key fish moment. Key fish moment? Key fish? I, I don't know what that is. I don't know. It's oh, thing. it's key left uh, turning into the goldfish. It's a crit roll thing. Don't worry about it. Oh. That. Most of you, one-eyed willies Katie is not going to know it, <laughs> right? One-eyed willies, one-eyed willy, back again with another quarter hundo. <laughs> Thank you very much. What? Really? This episode is giving me goosebumps. Thank you very much. Hopefully not there. Luminous anxiety. Uh, <laughs> hey, high rollers. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, high rollers. <laughs> Which, according to Roll20, is only Mark. First time on stream, and it oh, yeah. uh, starts at 1.30 a.m. for me in Australia. Anyway, Sorry. I wanted to say that imagine what Quill would have felt with that expert, expert dive bomb uh, gave me chills. Badass bird boy. Oh, God, it was so cool. So cool! <laughs> um, How are you finding me so quick? <laughs> Wait, what? what he does. <laughs> He's so busy doing this. <laughs> Uh, Natalie Hawthorne with a full hundo, a big wow. hundo. Thank you. That's uh, crazy. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to thank uh, Kim enough for making a character that I identify with so much. Nova with Aww. her special interests and hyperfixations and being very bisexual. And now, in this episode, she just got so much more fucking epic. Jesus Christ, Kim. Aw, thank you. Thank Not you for your that, donation. Kim. That's crazy. Kind. Not only did you get your third spell slot, you also get your first Mystic Arcanum, your sixth level. I know, once right? A spell. Yeah. Ooh, I've got oh. lots of. I've got. I've got. I've got to sit down and. You know me. I've got 
all the notes written out. I've got yeah. to mind map this. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. yeah, I just saw some weird spells just unlock on my spell list, and I'm kind of curious. Absurdity Matrix uh, with a half hundo. What a cinematic action movie ride. Catching live for the first time in a while, and wow. Well, thank you, Absurdity Matrix. Welcome back, and thank you very much for the donation as thank well. Thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you very much. Not a cult zen. Wait, is this a fake ship? Tom, 2020. Also, Tim has been talking crap again, just to let you know. Not wanting to stir stuff up. Real talk, though. This episode has been amazing. Love you all. Keep it up. Yeah, we're trying to cancel Chaos Twins, but it just keeps coming back. I don't know how. Okay. Nice. Darth Day 41. <laughs> Darth Day 41, doing Hesper's work there, Quill. So good. Thank you very much. Dungeon Raided. Uh, well, Mark, I'm insane. That beeping from the machine was actually my heart rate going wild from tension. Love every <laughs> single episode. And still thankful I got to be in the VIP one shot at Yogcon. Much love nice. from Medic and a shout out to Clane uh, and the Clown House. There you go. Clane okay. and the Clown House. There's a shout out for you. <laughs> nice. Um, Jim has donated. Uh, if Van Halen's Panama wasn't playing when Quill was gliding down that tunnel, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> well, um, we can't play copyright music, but you can imagine whatever you like. There you go. Do a fan video. Oh, <laughs> fan animation. <laughs> fan animation. Uh, fan animation. Varys with a donation and no message. As usual, thank you very much, Varys. Yorkshire Dave. Yorkshire accent, please. Oh, my God. Uh, who can do a Yorkshire accent? Uh -huh. I think what <laughs> your question is. Yeah, yeah, by gum. Yeah, say something about tea and pies. It starts with E by gum. I'll just post it in e the chat on gum. Remix. There you go. Read that out. E yeah. by gum. E by gum. What a bobby dazzler on an episode. Nova absolutely <laughs> boss that. Jumping down <laughs> shaft, taking damage, storming that cheeky Charlie. That flame is blown. <laughs> Lucas couldn't all writ it better. One of the best episodes. That's about the closest. Amazing. Pretty, nice. good. Pretty good. Pretty <laughs> good. Damage. Doing that cheeky Charlie. <laughs> cheeky uh, Charlie. Damage. George Charlie. Lucas couldn't Amy... all writ it better. <laughs> Amy Brilliant. the Irish. Uh, hello, everyone. I followed Kim here hello. four years ago and fell in love instantly. I'm working oh, I'm... Uh, on becoming a zookeeper, so I thought I'd give you all a fun oh, zoo cool. fact. That's okay. This cool. week's fact. I am subscribed to zoo facts. I'm into this. A group of hawks is called a kettle. Very fitting for my favorite band of Brits. Oh. We're a kettle of hawks. There <laughs> you go. Of hawks. Kettle I like of that. Hawks. That's amazing. Um, oh. Very cool. Thank you for the, for the zookeeper fact. And uh, yeah, yeah, hopefully the training goes well. New Alex. Uh, dark tunnels. Plummeting warlocks, self-destruct sequences, escaping villains. Amazing! My prediction for next week, the party organizes an intervention for Nova about her destructive addiction to Eternas. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> Nova, yes. we need to try it. <laughs> yes. Um, it's, uh, it's our boy again, Reed. Mudkip. Tom, Tom, oh, no. the one and only Mudkip here. Tom, your friend. Mudkip is very proud of you today. He's a well done oh. and a good job. You brought your A game today. If only you brought your A game when you found me, a supple, humble Mudkip, and caught me, <laughs> not <laughs> killed me. Supple. <laughs> oh. Chris Trot, oh, for fuck's no. sake. Chris Trot. Oh, Chris no. <laughs> 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 um, oh my god! I hate you! I hate you so much! I just why? Why have you got to do this? I think we just got cancelled. I think Trot just got us cancelled, everybody. <laughs> well, Sasquatch. that was a good run. You play it. Sasquatch. Play it again Sasquatch. so that the slow blinks right in the middle. <laughs> that's the, what, the slow that's blink what he's front doing. Why do you think he's like? You can see when he's looking at his computer and he's like, "I just move this over here." <laughs> you can fucking yeah. see it. Again, you do it again so that it's really central on the slow blink. It drifted. Oh, God. It drifted. Uh, Sasquatch 086786. Uh, yes, we have Vegemite here in New Zealand. Same with most Aussie food, but mainly we eat Marmite here. Also, Mark, oh, okay. that Aussie accent is cringe. It's true. 
I got oh, the Digimon no. Sorry, stuck in me peen. I got the Digimon <laughs> stuck in me peen. Oh, Anya. Anya with just shy of a quarter. Hundo. Hi. What? When are your characters' birthdays? Do they even know their birthdays? Is that a thing in Aroas? Christ, I do have, like, not mine is names, the but there are, like, signs. of winter. Yeah, it's basically <laughs> dividing season. <laughs> keep going. Keep scrolling there, Humes. Nobody wants you. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hate how much he laughs. Like, he's seen it a million times, and he still laughs at it. Every What's time he sees it, he laughs the same amount. He can't <laughs> not. He can't. He just can't. Mm, thank you, Noises. Joke. Thank funny you, Noises. Joke. Just over a quarter hundo. screaming? Samwise. Samwise2450. Yes. Yes. Was it? Yes. 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 Well, yes. there you go. That's all the donations on your account. Thank you all ah, very much. There was a lot of generous perfect. donations there. Yes. Very much. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Um, yes. We yes. also had gift subs from yes. Oceans Vampire Phantom, Cooper Orc, and D Miller 1841. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Everybody. Ocean Vamp. Yeah. Um, Ocean Vamp. Don't. That's going to be stuck <laughs> in my head now. <laughs> Great episode. Ocean um, <laughs> Just want to say, great episode. I love the big risk plays. Yes. Um, I'm those th yes. that is for me my favorite thing. Fucking cross drop. Um, yes. <laughs> thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hi. We will oh, see oh. you, Chaos Twins, on Tuesday, and then mm -hmm. Curse of Strahd yeah. on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Curse of Strahd. If you are not watching our Curse of Strahd playthrough, you are You're making a mistake. <laughs> right? It is. I genuinely think Curse of Strahd is one that of the one best great. streams we've done. Fuck's sake. Uh, <laughs> it's so I'm trying good. to plug our other stream and fucking these two. <laughs> Try and take you low. Low blink. Nah. Um, I will never if you want to see more of more potential slow blink, tune into Chris Strad on Thursday at 8 p.m. They got you happy? I plugged both Chris at Trott. the same time. Chris Strad. No slow blink on Strad. You can play slow blink on Erois like after Erois. Strahd is too cool to ruin with slow blink. Yeah. It's too cool. <laughs> right? it's it too ruins angry. the mood. No, that's a no. Bad <laughs> drop. Bad. Um, that, right. that, that is absolutely the face of a man who is listening to you. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Right, that is it. Thank you all yes. so much for, for tuning in. Thank you so much. Um, yep. I'm sure Nightjar yeah. will find a cool channel to raid. Um, thank you for your yes. support. We love you. Take care. We'll see you next time. Yep. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye, bye lovely. Everybody. Goodbye. Bye.